Hey, new listeners, the drops is back loud, you bitch ass niggas. That's what it is, man. New, 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 new drop out. No, warrior man. What's that? This part. What's that? Uh, the, What's going on? Welcome to the Rory and Maul podcast featuring Parks and myself, Joe Budden. <laughs> to the left of me is no other than, you guessed it, Rory himself, a.k.a. Sunset. He's in the building for yeah. now. In 40 minutes, he might have to go, but right yeah. now, he's giving y'all a vibe. You never know what Sunset. Never right. know when to the sun the, will set. To the right of me, no clone, J-Bone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He here with his you fellas. Are not, you are never allowed to critique no rap clone. ever again. <laughs> nah, that was kind of hard. Is, a, is there a clone by him? Nah. No. I don't think so. I, no, think, it's, no clone. I think it's one oh, J-Bone. You know, it's it's one, one, one of one. It went over Come my head. Come on, man. I caught it later. Yo, I'm like, oh, shit, because it isn't a clone. We're yeah. gonna, Come on, you don't see two of J-Bone. You got to listen to it again. <laughs> he has a twin, though. <laughs> That's irony. <laughs> That is the irony. <laughs> no, nah, that's Shea Bone. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a twin. Parks is here. Erickson couldn't be here, but Tall Erickson is here. What's your name again? Julian. Ju- Julian? I like you, man. Julian's pretty cool. It's weird Julian. having someone taller than me in my house, though. So. Yeah, this nigga's tall. He's tall. Yeah, this place isn't designed for two tall people. My childhood yeah, best friend was named Julian. Do you, think, say, maybe, do you think maybe there's a connection? No, don't do that. Julian died. Oh, so, sorry to hear that. Yeah, no, Ju- Julian was play fighting with his older brother in like in uh, in the project hallway, and he slammed up slammed him into the elevator shaft, oh, and man. it opened. Oh, Jesus Shit. Christ! And and yeah. Julian died. Rest in peace to Julian. STD is here. Savon is here, and Alexander the Great. Yeah, you know I mean, how could the screen be great without Alexander? Mm. Good point. How can it? Think about it. Let yeah. that sink in. Yeah. Uh, no, I see where you're going. No, I'm here yeah. to give niggas their flowers today, I mean, man. We pod now. <laughs> what other way would we see Fab's Instagram? <laughs> we pod now. Well, we pod now. Now we pod. Uh, gentlemen, how is everybody feeling? Happy, uh, happy belated holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy, Still happy, holiday. happy Black Friday. Uh, yeah. well, what's going yeah. on, man? Talk, talk, talk to us. Family, man. Family time. Seeing people you haven't seen in a while. Seeing the cousins, the the, the, the kids. I said no, that time of year. Yo, y'all are the most surface co-hosts in the world. Uh, I just want to be a little more specific than that today. You want me to talk about my I'm, uncle that's a klepto? Yeah, I want you to get into give me <laughs> give me that vibe. Well, everyone has. Give that me uncle. the cousin that you don't really vibe with that came in. Give me the aunt or uncle that your side don't really rock with. Oh, yeah. Give me the they, person they that cooked though. that you know that was trash, but you got to take the dish. Give me something that was specific to the household with you guys. Um, well, my, my wild uncle, he wasn't there. So that was that was different. Mine either, man. Yeah, we they, they, they didn't send him the invite, which was a good thing. Smart. Okay. Yeah. Smart. Keep, family, him, keep him out the mix. Uh, updating the family rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, yeah what's, what's your best lie to the family member that you, you don't want to invite? Yeah, we, I think we just skipping the holidays. We'll do something yeah. small. We're going to do something small. You know I mean? Yeah, we're going to do something small. I don't know if a lie works in that instance. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Because they're supposed to come anyway. They know. Yeah. Like, my, yeah, but if you say you're like doing un- something Uncle small. Uncle Walter, no, I wasn't coming to Uncle Walter's house for Thanksgiving because you can't hide it. You know I'm eating somewhere. No, but you said that before, though, actually. <laughs> but if I never said it, on know. this day, you he know I'm going to eat somewhere yeah. <laughs> with somebody. At, at some and point, I'm, I'm not eat. there. Yeah. So what can you do but say, yeah, man, nah, I'm going to kick it over here this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's all I'm going to do. Pars, come on, Buffalo Bill. What happened? <laughs> ran upstate, ran right back. Cooked dinner. We back. Short, yeah, look, short, brief time with look the family. Look at the dedication. But, but a, beautiful, uh, a beautiful time with the family. Let's all slow down. Same. I'm going to let some secrets out to Parks Hive. Parks Hive, I came in here, opened up the fridge. You guessed it. I didn't see a leftover. I'm not taking leftovers on the bus. Not, not a single thing green. Nah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Did he make the greens this year? I made Brussels sprouts. That's They're green. What, so you didn't right make now. the greens. They're white people greens. Yeah. Brussels sprouts Brussels are white, sprouts people, are white people, greens. people greens. For sure. But you I did say translate. you make you greens, didn't make not the greens. white people greens. And you I do did. like, I like Brussels sprouts, but you got to burn them a little bit. Me too. Bit. Yeah, you do, yeah. You, gotta burn you them. have to make yeah. them really unhealthy. You just got to put some mad yeah. seasoning on yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Call it. Yeah, put a little yeah. You're just eating seasoning. A little heart attack juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just did, drown them in butter. You didn't make the greens, you made the Brussels sprouts. I did. What was going on over in the Valley household? 
Uh, you know, it's a, a hectic holiday. I don't want to give out too much of my family's business. Man, but, oh, uh, man. Oh, man. Mad. That, means it was late. <laughs> that, mean, that means it was a great Yo, fucking night. It mad, was a great It's night. mad it dark shit yeah, in the yeah, valley yeah, household. Yeah. Yeah. See, and that's why, see, I appreciate that, Parks, because that's why I like the holidays, because it's dark shit going on in families. And yeah. when, when the holidays, you got to come together and just kind of love your way through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's definitely been blood on the kitchen floor at a, at a feral holiday. <laughs> Perfect segue over to Rory's household. <laughs> right. Well, no. This what is happened? A, over there what'd you I, cook Rory? I hosted for the first time uh, no I paid the rent yeah. yeah no 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 no. that's facts yeah, that's big dick yeah, energy yeah. That's, like, I, that's big dick I'm energy not, right I'm there I'm not cooking shit I paid the relax I paid the rent <laughs> he was hosted did you pay that was, that was all you, you paid you paid all you oh. that's all you the rent god damn Rory yeah, the whole, yo, these yo the whole rent you no, could right. wait. So you mean you can afford the rent even with that size balcony you have? Come on, man. Come on, man. Listen, man. My, Come on, man. Loud gunshot. My, my dad. My dad built the building. I got a it's nice nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. All right. So, so how how were things over there in the McFarrell household? It was good. It was uh, it was half Irish, half Guyanese. It was a yeah, interesting mix of yeah. Thanksgiving. Oh wait, y'all did y'all, y'all you did the blended Thanksgiving? We did. Which whoa. Was, and both that's, sides cooked, we so the table in. looked a little odd. We just, we, we, just, we just bumped into forty-five minutes of content. <laughs> no, no, Cause I, no cause I want to say, but before you get into Rory, I want to say that's part of the reason why Rory is up for Man of the Year soon. Like he did the blended engagement party, yeah, mm-hmm. well, mm-hmm. pulled it off smoothly. Nice, no arguments. Great food, dancing, even. <laughs> Great on, on music. What a way to balance music between Guyanese and white people. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was happy. And so you stayed in that bag. Roy Hill, man. Y'all don't give Roy his credit. No, that's him. I did. No, we give him his credit. Who do you feel gives you your credit, Roy, honestly? Mm. Besides me. Oh, you don't give me any. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm really the credited person. I, I, I think I'm so humble that, you know. People think that, that you don't credit is just credit. given. That's yeah, all. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. We got to check up on our strong friend. <laughs> yeah. True. We got to check true. up on Rory Moore, y'all. <laughs> we do. Yeah. All right. Uh, but it was good. It was good. Good. Good mixture. Because they don't even really do the turkey thing on Thanksgiving. They just make a bunch of amazing food. Mm. So it was their first time having turkey on Thanksgiving. Uh, Chad, jerk my, chicken. My mom. My mom's first time having good mac and cheese. In life, <laughs> like, in life. Oh, my go, mom was real, a great cook, but oh, mac and cheese just ain't, ain't her bag. Yeah, real Peggy, <laughs> the real bake, the baked mac and cheese, baked mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah. good for Peggy. <laughs> for Peggy. <laughs> yeah, gotta have a good baked mac and cheese on on the holiday though. Yeah, so no, it was a good time. Was your mom's had some jerk chicken. I no, was no jerk, jerk chicken. It wasn't nothing jerk on the table. No, yeah. nah, think about it. What type of guy needs it? Yeah, what type of shit was that? Nah, they were taking it light on the first white Thanksgiving, first black yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. You can't, just, you can't yeah, just pop up. You can't jump the straight jerk. into the jerk. Yeah, this yeah. food is so but, spicy. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> what is that? What is that, black pepper? <laughs> Way too much black pepper on this <laughs> on this chicken. My mom definitely yelled yeah. at me while I was seasoning the turkey. Like, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> if I'm not at school, I promise it's gonna be good. Oh, <laughs> chill out, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the You're only peppering up the sprouts. Yeah, yeah, that too. That's fire. The only it almost went left when we did taboo, just because some people take taboo very seriously, like mm. myself. I'm good for a good seven every round. Right. <laughs> I don't like when some people. In my family are giggling through clues like, yeah. fam, we focused, yeah. right? And the time is running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm upset. Yeah, okay. I don't yeah. think I don't think that it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. could get hurt. Yeah, they gotta chill out. Yeah. Um, what'd you do? You know, I am gonna applaud myself. Uh, and this is why Joe is in the Man of the Year Award runnings, man. I gotta I gotta play the food. From my first baby moms, man, where shit applause, wasn't always man. the greatest with us, man. Let me do a round of applause, buddy. Man. That's gross. Shit wasn't always the greatest with us. Not only did I get mm. a plate of food on the morning tip, she put a little banana pudding in there for the God. Oh, come man. on now, talk about now if you pardon. Want, if you want to talk about black excellence, <laughs> now you pardon. Go ahead. That's black excellence if I've yeah. ever seen, man. Give it up for myself. Yeah, when the first baby moms bring you some banana pudding, yeah. things are all right, man. Yeah, yeah. Sam just brought the baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, here. <laughs> like, what you doing? Oh, no, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got friends giving them. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm home with it. Who I got pudding. I'm, I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> Listen, uh, so y'all, you guys are getting a holiday edition of this podcast uh, and let me tell you why this is the R- Maul and Rory podcast. Maul and Rory both have hard outs today. 
It's Black Friday. They both want to shop till they drop. I have nothing to do. <laughs> Shop literally, till you literally, dro- and I've never shopped till I nah, drop. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> but that's what you want to do. I just drop. Like, Mo- go home and lay Mo- down. and Rory both have hard outs on their work day. They told me they've got 30 minutes to speak about cultural content. Mm-hmm. And then they're out of here. So we're going to get right to it. Uh and I still don't even I don't even know what Maul is doing. Like I just what do you told you? Oh yeah, 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 the fam. Family is giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, nah. Today's the day. They let, nah. yesterday they let everybody do their own thing separately at, you know, Households and stuff like that. Today is like today is like do family shit on your work day. Yeah, yeah that type of day. <laughs> well, nobody. We the only ones that well, work today. Yeah, a lot of people have off. Yeah, like we, we're actually the real. only ones that work. Today. Also, the retail <laughs> yeah, like, people. Shout out to the retail people too. Shout out to them. That's tough. Even though more people shop online, you don't really need the stores to be open anymore. But they still open though. Yeah. Yeah, subconsciously. Mm. Yo, did y'all see the? Uh, <laughs> Did y'all see the Irishman yet? <laughs> nah, I'm watching that. Is it out on Netflix yet? It's on Netflix oh now. Oh my god, y'all didn't see hours. it yet? No, nah, I'm watching. Are you starting with that? Yo, did you read your contract? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's Irish. You he had an Irish Thanksgiving. I well, that's keep, a good point. Yeah, keep it in Irish. The segue. Well, segue. it came out yesterday, and I didn't have three hours to spare, so I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, me either. I had to get to the Fab album. <laughs> Got to it? No, I didn't. <laughs> so you didn't get to the Fab album, <laughs> and you didn't watch <laughs> the Irishman? <laughs> what the fuck did you do with yourself? Right? Right, I had so to clean. Come on, Maul. Since you want to introduce things now. No, I was just asking. Y'all, if y'all didn't see it yet, I don't want to I thought, talk about it. Oh, you did? You liked it? How do you feel about it? Oh, that was the movie of the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. That was, so me and Joe finally agree on something. That was... Uh, there wasn't that many good movies this year, so... If there were good movies this year, it, yeah, would, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. That yeah, was... This, uh, is, a, uh, this that, is an instant class. That was that. Really? Yeah. And y'all know I'm normally... Well, not normally. I have a history of coming in here and, and taking an issue to some of Scorsese shit. Why? You do? What's, yeah. What, what didn't you like What's this? It? His last movie he put out, I hate it. The Which one? Wolf of Wall Street? Oh, Wolf no, of, no, 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 no. Departed? It's impossible Departed to hate the Wolf of Wall Street. Or Departed. Or Departed. Or I, I took pretty issue, much I took all issue of with Departed. Really? Yeah? I took issue with Departed. I came in here and said something about Departed. Did you like... Um, Talk about the same Departed? I don't know. Departed came out right after a movie of the same ilk. And it was, I felt like... It was similar to some at that time. I, yeah, I felt like the I movie that came out before was so the great... The Town, maybe? That it was The Town. Yeah. It was... The town made me. Nah, by the time the departed was way before the town. I thought. Well, Google it. Let's check. But there was a movie that was similar. Oh that no, came the out one um, the same Shutter. Time. No, was it Shutter Island? Is that what it was called? I yeah. love that movie too. Oh, I didn't like that movie. That movie is hard. It was okay. But anyway, listen. I can see you have an issue with that because they just did what every other movie's ever done. <clears throat> yeah. Like yeah. oh, he was just dreaming or crazy or whatever. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this was phenomenal. This was a. This was an acting clinic, a casting clinic. This was uh, this is so ill. I boy, I have tickets to go see it today, oh, today wow. as in tomorrow, but mm-hmm. today, like the noon showing. Wow. <laughs> it's a three. It's probably was it three three hours three, three and a half three and a half, and I felt like it was too short. Yeah, wow. I was great to say. It. Oh, when you tweeted that, I thought you were being sarcastic. <clears throat> I was not. No, no, no. It was that good. <laughs> the move they, I felt like in three three and a half hours they rushed through some of the stories. Mm-hmm. Wow, mm-hmm. this could have been a series. This could have been they, a they, Netflix they, series. They, 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 could have, they could have really broke down. Yo, you know what? All right, so before we get into this, more. Scorsese I'm talk, also I'm, made a great series, too, by the way. Boardwalk. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That was phenomenal. Well, I, I, I would say I was a little nervous because they've been talking about this movie for like eight years. And I so see why. It, all that anticipation, I was like, uh, they kind of can't win for losing now because there's so much anticipation because it's been talked about for so many years. Yeah, mm. they won. No, <laughs> I, for, that's the reason that it was kind of – Maybe would have been a little more difficult to live up to some of the, the hype when you put these types of actors in one movie with that director mm-hmm. with this theme. Mm-hmm. Um, but great movie, shit. <laughs> like, I'm gonna watch it again this week. Maul. So does this put an end to the the lifelong question that uh, was never able to be answered? Who's the better actor, Robert De Niro or Al Pacino? I and then every time I that, and then every time that question came up, we was like, "Well, we never saw him in a movie together." Well, they, so they, now they, we, they got them, we got we them. We got them in a yeah. heat, but they weren't. They, they never weren't in a lot of scenes yeah. together. In they heat. weren't zero. They're, they both are so great. In a moment of transparency, they both are so great. There was at least five years of my life where I didn't know who was who. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. There was five years of yeah. my life where I thought one person was Rob De Niro and it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I probably got them mixed up. Yeah, I just got I them confused. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this movie, listen, when 
Damn, how can I talk about it without spoiling it? Yeah, I was about to say it's hard, but I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Like, I don't want to spoil it. It's should, that you great of a movie. Watch you should watch it on your own. Definitely. But when Rob De Niro had found out some shit like toward the end of the movie, yeah. who do you think is the better actor after watching the movie? I've always said that uh, for me, Pacino is the better actor. Um, but it's hard, man. It's, it is hard. It's, it's, you can't really. I, I mean, you you got to love them both. Pacino's a really good actor. Damn, yeah, I think I think, I think uh, Pacino to me what kind of separated them was Pacino and Sin of a Woman. I really thought Al Pacino okay. was blind in that movie. Yeah, like if you watch that movie, he he his expressions are of a blind person. If you ever sat in a room with a blind yeah. person, yeah. I really thought he was blind. So yeah. things like that, I think, is the difference between them. It's just their range a little bit, but they're two. This movie yeah. couldn't have happened without both of them being the goats. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, you know, mm. but that's why it happened. That's now, in happened. this specific movie, I thought that, okay, if Scorsese or whatever director this is, and, and, and let me not do that because De Niro is an executive producer on this too. I read the credits. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's different in film, though. What you mean? Producers are usually, executive producers in film are usually more of like a financial. financial yeah, it's financial. Thing. Yeah. Thing. And sometimes just a name. I, for the fuck too. of it. Yeah. I, I still give credit for it. Sure. Oh, you have to. If you're an EP, I just feel yeah. like you had a vision and you were there during the earlier stages. Well, I mean, sure. Those two collab. When they make a movie, it's they're working together. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so De Niro... And but, let's not leave Joe Pesci out of this. Also... Oh, we're going to get there. Phenomenal actor. We're getting there, oh, but outside of, outside of De Niro ep um, the role that they gave him, uh, the whole movie, even mm-hmm. after, yeah, I mean, I ain't going to say nothing, mm-hmm. but like, look at this shit. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this, this was, this was. I watched it twice on on Netflix. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> yeah. it's a great movie. And now I'm going into movies at noon. Wow. I pick, recline the seat, <laughs> <laughs> bought the seat next to me. Now nah, I don't sit here, nigga. Got money. Yeah, we watching it. I got another sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> got have, another you ever, have you ever gone to the not fancy movie theater? Now that you've gone to nice movie theaters, it's really rough. We saw Joker at like the regular one. I felt like I was in the ghetto. With the peasants? With the yeah, no, it was rough. I can't do that. Even uh, my girl was like, "Man, this is awful. I can't watch this." I only do screenings at the house in my screen room. Mm, yeah, no, screen room. Well, I'm the not, theater. Yeah, I'm not the- theater. <laughs> theater. Aurora, Aurora, you checked it out in your screen room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my screen room. Your screen room. Well, you screen things? The TV yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. we do screenings oh, on Sunday nights. Get out of town, man. <laughs> uh, Joe Pesci, Maul. Speak to it. Pesci, great, man. He's, you know, I mean, it's it's hard to watch. This film was the first film, I think, in, that I've seen Pesci like this Dude, serious yeah. without being funny. Because even in Goodfellas, he had funny lines. Like, yeah, he, he was, was funny. Yeah. Uh, Casino, he had funny lines. Yeah. Big this it, one was like added to what you saying. This was the first time in a film that I that that they gave us Pesci as the top guy and a very serious dude. Because his every movie he's we always all, the wild card guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. but every movie we always say his acting is great enough to like he kills that role. Yeah, but yeah. he could be a boss and we would roll. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. what happened here. He uh, was the boss and great boss. What a fucking boss. And I think he may have cursed four times in this whole movie. Uh, <laughs> that was the craziest thing in the world to me. Like Joe Pesci may have cursed four times in time. Am I am I am I the dark guy because I was really grateful and appreciative that before I died we got to see the three of them like this? Oh no, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm I did when I heard this was coming out. I was looking forward to this. This was like the one movie I, w- I was waiting for. I heard I heard Ray Romano body too. <clears throat> yeah, that was a did. lot of what I saw. He did. He's Th- a good actor, this though. whole cast, Rory. Hey, 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 Action Bronson killed it. Yeah, yeah. He killed his little role. I was like, hey, it's him. And then I remembered Rory saying he was in the movie. Mm-hmm. And I was like, kudos to this guy. He's body in this shit. This whole, yeah. The whole cast, just an amazing job. Um, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's not an ad. The comedian, uh, Sebastian, I can never pronounce his name. I don't know name. anybody's name. Oh, yeah, I know that guy. Was out of scout school? Oh, yeah. he was in it! I saw it. He was doing oh, interviews about it. I, I forgot, forgot about him. Yeah. Fam, look at this crew. Jesse uh, Plemons, or you know, it was in uh, Breaking Bad and Black Mass and all that. Yeah. He doesn't get the credit he deserves. He's a fucking great actor. Yeah, he is a good actor. Damn, that was the comedian that as Crazy Joey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all have to watch that. I'm going to tomorrow. Y'all have to watch that. Great movie. Um, 
let's 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 stay on movies since we started with movies. Maul, oh, did now, you, now did I get it because because Maul's brother, Biggs, Hoffa, Jimmy. Ho- now I see why you like this. Shit. I get it now. <laughs> it all comes together. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's true. It's what? not true, Joe. Oh. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Yo, Yo, no, it's true. One, one false <laughs> is yeah, true no, no, will no, help no. everything. No, it's not true. Yo, it's true. It's not true. Yo, the wrong co-signer yeah. fucks some shit up. I'm <laughs> telling you. Nah, that's nah. I was there when that happened. <laughs> um, Queen and uh, Queen and Slim. You saw it. Queen and Slim saw it. Yes. You had it. Hold Damn, on. I let's, gotta see that. Let's, yeah. let's, let's, There's let's, a lot of shit coming up. My mother spoke very yeah, last week. Active. <laughs> yeah. I did. Good movie. Who you, really who you went with? It was. It was like a your mom's right. No, it was a screen they had. Mom, it was a screening. Nigga <laughs> went everywhere with his mom. <laughs> oh, you went to the screen. Oh, pardon self. Partisan, yeah. partisan self. Yeah, partisan. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you yeah. think? Y'all didn't see that either, right? No, I didn't see nah. that. Of All course, right. I, so without spoiling, I'm not going to spoil it for y'all, but I will say, good movie. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, good movie, good acting. <laughs> it's just too unbelievable for me. Oh. Like, it, it will never happen that way. Like never, okay. and that's that was the only thing. Like from the way they met to what happened, it was just like, huh? Mm. And then she's a lawyer, and you're like, well, if she's a lawyer, then why do it's just it's just a lot of shit that I was just like, uh, it's just too unbelievable. But it was a good movie though. You should, you should it's okay. definitely worth going to see for sure. I love going to the movies. So they have the opposite take from all. Really? I'm, like you was jacking the way that they met, and then all of that no. happened after that. Oh, all right. no. All right. But I feel like. For years now, there's a thing with these prominent black directors that put out movies with these underlying stories they're telling. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this movie had a lot of that. And every time it happens, I hate it. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I don't like, and I I won't speak on it because I'm not giving the movie away, but I don't like when that happens. I didn't like the end. I didn't like a few things about how they got to the end. I didn't like the white dude. I, listen, I'm not going to get into it, but it felt like good movie. Good movie. Go good see movie. It. Okay. Definitely go see it. Still a good movie. Yeah. I stayed awake and I left pleased, yeah. but That says a lot upset. for you because you walk out of movies all the time. Yeah, I stayed. Yeah. I stayed. It's a good movie. You should definitely it, go see it. It was good. I just, you know. She is beautiful. Yeah. That yeah, lead is. is fucking she was it. Yeah, when she cut her hair, I was like, yeah, I would have definitely. Yeah, I needed to hit that, I that eye pick I like a, a crime too. alone in the daytime. Yeah. <laughs> like with the blanket. Just like, <laughs> why? She, but why we got it? <laughs> I, I got to tell you Yo, why. Just, just go home and do it. I got to tell you why. Just go home. And that's not the same. Just go home. That's man. not the same, Just go home. Man. You got to go home. You know how it is when you're outside, you just got to grab yeah, your no, shit. Yeah, no, no, I don't know how it is. When you're outside, you just got to grab your shit. No, I don't know. I don't know how that is. Accidentally rub on something. Got it. Never mind, Ma. I was, I was, You've never done that. It was dope to see Bokeem Woodbine in this, though. That was dope. I haven't seen Bokeem Woodbine. Yo, since 84. Nah, Bokeem's in the Wu-Tang show. Yeah, but I'm just saying I didn't yeah. I didn't know he was in this movie though. Oh. Yeah, but something that they in. paid him for. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get his publishing now, on the Wu Tang. About what he did on his strength. <laughs> yeah, both nah, it was good. Mind. It was good to see him. I said that too. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny how people say that. It felt like um that whole scene with, with Bokeem Woodbine, like that part of the movie, felt like a little uh, hustling flow. Is that the name of the movie? Yeah. But that felt like a little hustling flowish right there. That whole from that point on, it felt like a little hustling flow. Now nah, this was a good movie. <laughs> Yo, the funniest part of Hustle and Flow is that one day he was like, "Yo, I'm a rap," <laughs> and then made like three b- bangers the first day. <laughs> Yo, I think I want to do this bullshit rap. equipment though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Casio. Yo, I think I, I think I want to rap. <laughs> yeah, made some bangers though. I'm rushing home after this podcast to heat up some leftovers and throw on the the Hustle and Flow, the <laughs> Yoga Guy doc on Netflix. What's that? Briz call for Briz Tat. Whatever his name is. The Yoga Guy? That's the name of it? No, it, the name of it is Briz, whatever his name is. Look it up, Savon, please. Uh, oh, Bikram. Bikram. Yeah, I think I saw Bikram. it. That's Bikram. That's like Bikram Yoga. Bikram. Yeah, that's a okay. kind of yoga. There, that's his name. There's a, there's a doc. There's a doc on Netflix called Bikram about some guy who started this hot yoga craze and then mm-hmm. he was got, fucking all the hoes got, yeah 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 i'm watching that are you I'm kidding not me? surprised too many people have told me that that is all the way fire and i'm <laughs> rushing home to it the star tenders can wait look how he came out the, the back though you saw what he had on just nah, now he in his bag whatever they accuse him of he did Man, we bend nah, over yoga he's classes were some some creepy shit it's nasty well that's the thing that i was like <laughs> i saw this and i was like oh so we was right <laughs> right yeah. 
<laughs> you hot yoga niggas is freaky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mm-hmm. it is. And the niggas that be trying to get me to join hot yoga and I, the I knew, girls. I knew it was nasty when they started doing like the team yoga. Like right. she's standing on his back with his feet. I'm like, oh, y'all just gross. Y'all just nasty. <laughs> Yo, yeah. what movie is that where they had the yeah. dude doing yoga at the, at the resort? Uh, fuck. With the fat what? black dude. It, th- like, that's like, that's the, that's him. That's basically who they were trying to like, if you look oh, at the uh, hair, couple, if you look at his hair. Couples retreat? Every, couples retreat, yeah. <laughs> if you look at his head well, and everything, like that's I'm, basically where they was going with it. I'm rushing home to watch Bikram. This is not an ad. It just looks really good. Speaking of Bauer on the Netflix. Is it powered by Cash App? I keep trying to get us off Netflix, but okay. go ahead. Uh, did you watch the center of the first season? Of course. Just, the second season's really good. I didn't watch the second season. It's really good. And I'm putting on, I didn't watch it, but uh, you're not the first person to tell me that. Yeah. They take so long to come back in between seasons. Yeah. They, took, shows they this, took years. The, center, the, the first center. season was just. I thought they got canceled. That's how long they took. Yeah. Well, well it. it says USA on it, so it might be actually coming from USA Network. So that's why it takes so long because it it took years. But yeah, but uh, no, the center is really good. Damn, you said that, and I instantly thought of something else. Now I can't fucking remember. The center. Damn it. Anyway, fine. It doesn't matter. Um, what else do you guys want to talk about? Music. Music. A lot of, a lot of music came out. Music, music. 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 Well, not, not, let's was, not actually. Get, let's let, no, 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 no. Let, let's go with this is an R and B podcast now. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's get into before music and all the new releases. Uh, let's address Gold Link. Let's yeah. address. Okay. Let's yeah. do that first. Okay. Right. React. Gold Link Avengers. <laughs> Man. No, Gold Link Avenger. We'll explain to everyone what happened first. Well, you guys. Shout out to our Spotify listenership. <laughs> <laughs> our YouTube viewership. Shout out to our first and last time listeners. Sorry that we're halfway through doing this. It's Black Friday. Fuck you niggas. Um, <laughs> randomly, seemingly, well, what appears to be randomly, because I don't know if it was random. It was random. It just, it reads random. It appears yeah. to be random. Yeah. Maybe in a moment of self-reflection, I'm going to try my best to understand this kid. Uh, maybe in some type of weird, intimate moment with himself, Gold Link felt the need to share some words with Mac Miller, who has been deceased and is deceased. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. We For love sure. you. We love you and we miss you. I don't know who needs to hear this. But you don't need to publish your personal intimate stories with the deceased if they don't paint them in the best of lights. Agree. I'm starting. That's where that's where I start with this. I almost don't even didn't didn't intend on reading any of this just because I feel like it's disrespectful and offensive. So y'all tell me how y'all want to proceed. We can cover this. I feel like without really getting into what this nigga said. Yeah. Because this is nasty. Yes, nasty. This is, I wouldn't know where this this stems from. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to call this exactly. But Gold Link shared some words to Mac Miller, and they weren't great words. That's what I'll say. They were not great words. It might be underselling it. They didn't. Uh, it they, was. It was. It was. They didn't, he said some things that you paint. shouldn't say when uh, someone is deceased. If, um, but they, he, he said, he, he, "Forget the deceased part for two seconds. He said some things that you shouldn't say about your friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, people say sh- fucked up shit about their friends all the time. But I, but especially sh- when they can't. But maybe you shouldn't. No, I, I agree. But he said some things in there where he basically was was showing love and appreciation for Mac and everything that he did for him as well. I got mad hate and envy from it. Yeah. I got even, no. Even I didn't when he was trying to show love and appreciation." What part of this was the love and appreciation? Well, when he said, you know, he he told him that when he saw him after they whatever happened, he, and Mac had his head down, he he told him, "Sorry, oh, man, like, uh, huh? Pick your head up, like it's not, huh? it's no problem, like it's that's no that's that's love and appreciate that that yeah, is love well, and appreciation." Well, he's saying that this is the first dude that gave him a, a platform. That's not what that just said. So what I want to be clear. What the fuck are you talking about? I seen you with your head down, hanging with a puppy dog. Look on your face after the show. I told you, yo, keep your head. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you oh, talking? So what are you that's saying? How you take it, okay. That's what he said. 
Yeah, but I didn't yeah. take it like that. I see how you taking it. I, I don't. It I don't take it like that. I don't take it like that. Like I, I, I said, I think, think that you're this responsible was like, for what you say. Yeah, but I ain't gonna scream because I ain't that invested. I love Mac Miller and I don't know Gold Link, but you are responsible for what you say. And I don't know that I don't know it to be factual that Mac Miller had his head down, sad, with a puppy dog look in his face somewhere. The picture that you're painting your friend, your deceased friend, in just isn't the best of lights. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, I can see how I can see how people would definitely take that from it. Yeah, I I, I understand. Yeah, I totally understand how people interpret it. It, I I think it was no. I think it's hard for us to understand how people don't interpret it yeah, that way. I, yeah. What the fuck are y'all? Th- we know that y'all understand why people take it that it's way. Of course, we're trying to I'm, see how you take it a different way. I want to be enlightened. I, I think well, people grieve the way they grieve, but yeah, I think he was thinking of Mac and had a random like harmful grieving, yeah. like hate, like hate grieve. Uh, yeah, people grieve that way. Yeah, but don't so, do it. Yeah, don't do it publicly. Oh, I agree. I agree there. It it shouldn't be public. But again, how people grieve is wrong sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it comes across wrong. And they say things they don't maybe mean or explain them wrong because they're grieving. And that's how they grieve. I'm not making excuses. I just, I understand well, to... sure you are. Gr- I don't think grieving is an excuse. I, I think it's an act that people go through and do it differently. Yeah. You have to be held accountable for who who you offend. Of course, he's entitled to grieve however he likes. The second that he does that in a public fashion, because grieving does not have to be done publicly. That's right? a fact. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I, I, the, I, the I agree that, that this he, didn't need to go then, on IG. But the, And the second that he clicks send there, we are not just in the realm of he grieves different. Now you have to be responsible for how you made this man's fan base feel, this man's family feel. This man's friends, like his real friends, feel like the friends yeah. that no, wouldn't I, speak I, about you this way. Don't don't, dis- <laughs> don't disagree with you at all on the, on that end. I, I just I read it as someone grieving, and it just came across wrong. <laughs> and this is why you should. This is why you should never post stuff like this. This is why it's better to for it to be audio of you yeah, saying. Yeah, because if you hate you, niggas, you, you receive then it you just differently. Keep sometimes it to yourself. it's just words. Like I could read something that you write. In the wrong tone, in the wrong. I'm not sure what tone or anything that the, these have, words have, have you guys, been. Have you guys ever had a friend pass with unsettled, like maybe y'all were beefing and didn't resolve it before they passed? No. Yeah, I've had that. Well, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. I have, and and I, I was at the funeral in a, in a really weird place. <laughs> so. That I'm not. No, I'm, just, I'm talking about my my experience with it of having those unsettled. Things that didn't get done. Well, Rory, you- I'm going to be with you the whole time until you tell me, yo. So I went in the journal and showed it to his whole. Like, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm, I'm, you no, don't have I'm, to explain to me. And, I've been there and I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I know. I completely agree this shouldn't have been on Instagram. I'm, I'm yeah, with you there. I'm, I'm just talking about it. I'm not talking about the Instagram at this point now. There's no, there's no way we should say that this should go on Instagram. Just, he's passed. I'm just, like, I'm just saying to, to, you know, the people that are upset about it. I'm just saying I don't think that Gold Link meant to come across disrespectful and meant to come across with anything other than having an open just paragraph or just words to somebody that he felt I know love you, and respect well, for. I know you feel like so, that. So I because, think that it, because it just la- came across Last week wrong. you came in here and, and told us or tried to tell us what somebody meant. And then I replied, you're responsible for what you say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't argue with y'all about what he meant. I don't know the right. young man, which is why you, he you might have do, meant that, right? Which is why you shouldn't do shit. shit like uh, this. But uh, but uh, Anderson pa- Anderson Pack, whom he who whom Gold Link mentioned in this rant, read this and felt the need to reply. And I will read you guys his reply, and you can tell me what you think. Uh, Anderson Pack says, and I quote. Uh, I would imagine your weird ass posted up somewhere just like this when you decided to make that disrespectful, disrespectful, narcissistic, jealousy, gro- jealous, grossly unnecessary post. Why would, why would you do it? I can't even understand it. Maybe your belt was wrapped around your goddamn waist too tight, or maybe it was the choker cutting the circulation off to the brain. But since you felt it necessary to bring me up twice, and my boy isn't here to uh, respond, I'm gonna say it like this. You are not the first person to make an album inspired by a relationship. You ain't the first to make a song featuring Anderson Peck. But you are the first to disrespect my friend who is no longer here for absolutely no reason. And I can't stand for that. 
See, I fuck with niggas like this. The, yeah. The people that, that will say what they can and cannot stand for. Bigger than monetary gain. He can't stand for it. That's awesome, Anderson Pack. Let me see. Where am I at here? I'm not a tough guy. I'm not about negativity, but this bugged me bad, bro. I've called you and DM'd you, and you have not responded. So since this is what you like to do in order to get attention, we can do it like this. You're not surprised, huh? Maul, hmm? no friend of mine should ever come speak publicly that they not surprised I died. Oh, no, yes. I, I, I agree with that. I agree. No, no, no. no you not there. surprised? You talking to strangers? Whom of which you don't even know who you're speaking to? Just a, a world of strangers? Mm -hmm. yeah. I would be lying to myself to say I wasn't surprised when I got the news you died. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, huh? that's a little too yeah. personal. The people that gotta... love me are putting hands, feet, and bullets on you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Anderson continues. Well, I'm in disbelief. Scream and move, man. I'm nice with this. <laughs> well, I'm in disbelief. If Divine Feminine was such a blueprint of your record, then tell me where the plaques are for whatever your shit was called. Mac brought your ass on tour and opened up his fan base to you when you had nothing, and this is the type of appreciation you give. You should have been grateful for the op. Whatever issues you had with Mac should have been addressed in person and ended there. What's the point of bringing this up after his passing and disrespecting his name? Valid questions, I feel like. Yeah. Well worded by Anderson. Yeah. You really woke up feeling like that was the move. Another great question. How do you niggas wake up in the morning? That ain't how you go about promoting whatever you got coming. Again, he knows that this is probably a promotion move. Awesome. Some things simply have nothing to do with you. But when you have a God complex, I'm sure it's easy to think everything comes from you or was inspired in some way. Whatever it is, I ain't giving it no more energy. I pray you get back to the music and spreading good energy. I'm going to do the same. Mac Miller forever. Love to his family. And y'all have a blessed one. Well React. Said. Well said, man. Anderson's a good dude. Yeah. And I like the fact that he mentioned that he did try to keep this private. He right. reached out to him. And he said, well, since you don't want to answer, you don't want to respond, and this is how I got to go about it. That was uh, important to because I was... I was hoping that he did try to have a personal talk with him before he went to this. Um, but yeah, uh, Anderson is right. You know, I mean, I understand what he's saying and I understand why he would feel this way. I get his uh, point of view. Yeah, again, sure. I, again, I don't know Gold Link, but it, it seems like he is going through something though. It seems like there's something not right with him right now. He just had the uh, the little rant about the uh, what was it, the Grammys? The Grammys. Yeah, yeah, he just had that. Um, now this. I like that rant. I do too. But again, whenever you see people. In that type of zone, it's like they have they're thinking a lot and they have a lot in their head and you know sometimes all it takes is for you to have a night of hanging out partying and your phone is in your hand and next thing you know the entire world is looking at you like you're crazy. Um, I'm not even here for the deep dive on the the events that took place. I'm much more concerned with the Gold Link cleanup that we have here. Mac Miller is one of my best friends in the whole. World. Mac Miller is one of his best friends, he says, in his whole life. That's how you treat your best friends. Let me tell y'all something. Only y'all in the whole internet world is going to get this content. Okay. Mac Miller is my best friend in the industry. That's one of my best That is my best friend that I dissed and spoke about that way. Even to this day. I'm just going to tell y'all how I interpret all this. Let me tell y'all something. Without Mac Miller, there would be no gold. He was the first. I'm going to tell you two. Niggas gotta stop doing that too, man. I know mad dudes that will spew some hatred and diss the dude that put them on, man. That line has to get out of here. You dudes can't fool me with that anymore. There's a bunch of dudes that helped me get on that I diss daily. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna be the sacrifice for everybody in this. I'm a sacrifice. I have no accountability for what I did. I'm a sacrificial lamb here. Mac Miller is one of my best. No, no, no. How you want it, and you say it however the f you want. You don't have to explain yourself to no motherfucking body. Yeah, that's weird. More, I'm gonna, more weird. I'm gonna turn it back on, but I can't stand when people just lie to their audience. You said a lot of stupid shit. 
And now you're explaining or attempting to because you have received backlash. And now you're sitting here telling the audience while you're explaining this fuck up that you don't have to explain anything to anybody because it's your thinking and you don't have to give a fuck. Let me tell you something, buddy. As the president and one of the four four founding co co-founders of the I don't give a fuck club that's not true (laughs) that's not true it's so not true that today at 39 years old when I hear people say it to me it's like nails on a chalkboard and I interrupt them completely and I say they say yo I don't give a fuck and I say well you should Mm. as you age and as you learn and gain information and trust me, this was a tough one for me, man. I'm, I'm not holier than thou. I'm talking to you from a little bit of experience. As you age, the rest of your life is about giving a fuck about shit that maybe you don't care about. <laughs> yeah, that's part of it. Hey, yeah. guess what? I like to think that I don't give a fuck about what people think. That is a luxury, right? Let me tell you all the times that I was carrying myself that way and I was wrong. Y'all don't give a fuck about what people think. That's dope, Joe. What's your credit score? Uh, (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yo, yo, listen, man. I don't give a fuck what you niggas think. That's dope, Joe. What day you see the judge? Mm -hmm. Uh, I could just give you like a million different instances as you're just growing up and living life. That you have to care about what somebody else says. Hey, guess what? A girl? You want to talk about a girlfriend? <laughs> Romance? <laughs> Tell your girl every week you don't give a fuck about what she thinks. Good luck. Tell All your right. friends, the people that love and support you, relationships that, that you have to nurture to maintain, that you don't give a fuck about them. And tell me how long you keep them. Like... For him, this like I did. These niggas just be spewing propaganda to an entire audience of people that because they paid, got feel like they're gonna cheer. Ah, what are we ah, about? <laughs> uh, right. Let me get back to this I clip. Never used the word copy. I never used the word steal. Goling, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Your Grammy rant told me you were smart. See. See why niggas be trying to keep it a secret that they smart? <laughs> you can't tell me you smart and then do this. You can't tell me you smart and then what is he saying right here? Hold up. Oh, I never use the word semantics. I'm that king too. I never <laughs> use the word copy and I never use the word steal. Look up in Plyden. <laughs> Come on, Rory. What? I, I'm Gold a Link Avenger. <laughs> I, f- I fuck with Gold Link. I agree with you. Yeah, it just was. It was. I, it was just. He, he went on a rant, and I think that this was something that you know he he was just better off having a conversation with somebody personally. <laughs> but you can't put stuff like this out because then people are allowed to feel and react and take from it what they want. Although I do believe that Gold Link actually does love and care about Mac. I just think that. These words were just like... That's they, not they the shocker the here. Way. A lot of people love wrong. Well, mm. that's another... Yeah, A that's lot of topic. people love wrong. Yeah. Like, for me to speak to, to your love, I have to start speaking to what that is rooted in. Mm. And I don't know him. I only know this. Yeah. I don't, I don't... I'm not doubting that he don't have love for Mac Miller. Mm. I'm saying this is the reflection of it. Right. Keep it. If that's the love, keep the love. <laughs> yeah. no, I agree. Uh, I don't have really any anything more to say on on, on this. Uh, again, rest in peace, Mac Miller. First and foremost. Yeah, one hundred percent. Go yeah. link. I pray for you, my brother. I, I pray for you. I don't know what's going on with you, but to spew that shit that you sat and spewed, to sit and think about it, it sounded like it was well thought out, and that's what scares me the most. When you have well thought out bullshit, right? Like when that, when it feels like you took the time to sit down and calculate some shit, and that was the result. This is what you pondered. This is what you came up with. It's like, oh shit! I hope he's okay. Mm. That's all I got. Mm. Well, the Divine Feminine was an amazing album. Just, it was just to 
throw another reminder so out swimming, there. So he's Max got an incredible discography. Rest in peace, Mac. All right. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Want to talk about uh, all this new music? Yeah, we talk, hey! we talk music. All right. <laughs> Let's see what bag you in today. It's honest time. Let's do it. Right. Right. Let's. Let's do it. <laughs> well, congrats, congrats to Maul first and foremost for the hey. Gris- Griselda album that came oh, out. Right, right, round right, of applause right. for Maul. Come on, man, Griselda dropped another one. <laughs> I have nothing to do. Yes, with you this do. Okay. Great album. You Mike Haran for Griselda. No, Mike, Mike was Mike was on the album. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, Mike works I know. For I know. <laughs> I know. For Griselda. Yeah. That is the only project that I have not heard. Some fans are coming up with conspiracy theories about my lack of having heard the Griselda albums when Maul heard them. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> they just feel like, all right, Joe, I see what's going on. They're your label mates. They, uh, out they here, are your label mates. They, they out here making noise. Oh, okay. You utilizing your platform to shut down the noise even when your co-host does his best to bring wow. them up. So every time you bring on, I'm like, oh, I ain't heard. It's hot. Like that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I thought you was going to support me a little more than that. No, I'm, no, I, you, I, no, I, think they, I think they have a yeah. point. No, all right, all right, no, people know you fuck. Right, people, <laughs> people know you fuck with Griselda. They know that you, you've been very supportive. Of, oh, God, of the I would hope so. Yeah, no, no, you've been all very right. supportive of the movement. <laughs> thank you, thank but, uh, you. Go the movement, thank you, Mark. Yeah, this, 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 what Machine Gun do album is uh, this, this is Griselda, man. <laughs> I mean, it's you know a lot of rapping, that gritty shit, grimy shit. Um, Conway was really in his bag in the sub. Yeah. Not to say he's not always in his bag, but right. he's shining. What are you saying? Huh? Then what are you saying? I'm saying that he was shining. Are you suggesting up. that Conway can't rap? <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, Parks Never. is a Parks is a. Is I'm, I'm a Griselda <laughs> supporter for sure. Yeah, uh, the Chef Dredge joint might be my favorite joint on the album so far. That 50 shit is hard too. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's a good, really, really, really good. If you into that rap raw shit, this is this is for you. This is your time. Y'all heard it yet? Oh no, Joe said Rory, you heard it? I, I heard it, yeah, yeah. I heard it. I, I like haven't it a lot. heard it. Uh only because there's a lot of music that came out one and, and two. Like, what are they doing? Are they putting an album out every bi weekly? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, they no limit shit. Yeah. Yeah. And they all dope. Fucking, they all dope. Get an uh, album, Benny, album every Friday. Yeah, yeah Benny, no, that's <laughs> impressive to me. Benny played some joints for me about two weeks ago. I think he's trying to come January. That's yeah, these guys just seem like they do not leave the studio in Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're on tour right now, I think. So. Yeah. They, they working, man. Yeah. You know what it is? When you spent your whole life waiting for this. Right. You're when it advantage. comes, you just like, man, I don't, we, we had enough time sleeping and not doing shit and right. standing around in the hood. Like, fuck Especially that. when you're from upstate or somewhere that's not like, they're not accustomed to having this opportunity. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I was about to say, or you could totally change, get a hit, make a lot of money, abandon the hood and your friends and never look back. <laughs> they make a lot of money doing it the way they want to do it. <laughs> but, you know, but you know what? <laughs> Joe, <laughs> you know what it is, Joe? I think, I think when... I uh, didn't do that. I'll do, <laughs> yo, y'all have to start... Yo, we, on this, yo, we're going to talk about uh, the lack of respect I get on the Rory Moore podcast. We're going to talk about that soon. But, uh, <laughs> Let's find out. It's the you know, But you know what it is? When you, um, when you come from a background of just hustling and always wanting to be successful and make money and then you start making music and you make that's your hustle now and you know they selling the merch that's their hustle I think now they it's just so they just trying to see how far they can just push this shit now yeah. at this point and I think that people adapt to them and relate to them because it's so raw it's almost like these are some guys that don't know what they're doing but they know what they're doing right like the the even the songs aren't your typical Rap songs Yeah no they're not You know they're, what I'm saying it's, it's like these These dudes sound like They're still in the basement Yeah They just making joints And then they just Putting it out And then they They hitting the road Griselda Ventures You know I mean <laughs> Yeah they, that's, that's what it is though I mean you gotta You gotta respect that The, the fact that they're able To do that probably, now And probably subconsciously too You said subconsciously What do you mean <laughs> <laughs> you Joe's saying shit. <laughs> mean? Joe's being an asshole. No, I'm not. You're responsible for your words, Joe. No, I'm not. I was watching. This has nothing to do with nothing, but I got a good laugh and said I'll bring it to the podcast. But I was watching the little the B.O.B. preview I put out, <laughs> and he was like, I said, yeah, you was bugging with that flat earth shit. <laughs> he was like, yeah, man, what I think was happening was subconsciously. And then as soon as he said that, I was like, 
Yo, subconsciously works. <laughs> Semantics, man, for sure. Yo, you could just say anything after no, you that. Can't. Really? You can say that yes, to somebody. You, can. you can say that to somebody that's dumb. But Yo, niggas know certain nah. words are just like, what does that even mean? Nah, yeah. you tell when, me, you sound, when you sound so smart you tell to someone me you dumb. you was doing that subconsciously, I'm like, all right, you get a pass, no, man. No, Sub- you subconsciously, nah, it was all over his Instagram. Right? <laughs> subconsciously. Very consciously. Because what does subconsciously mean? That he means was I was camera. bugging out. Yeah, I was bugging out. That means I was bugging out. Yeah, I was wild. So you can say that and just go ahead. So now nah. I'm just adding it to shit to make it sound iller. Oh, look how you sitting with your knees. That's nasty. <laughs> how should I be with my knees? It, it's cool, man. I don't know how to be money. Powered by Cash App. It's I don't know good. how to be. <laughs> <laughs> how money? You, you don't know where to put your knees. Sometimes your knees just do their own thing. <laughs> how should my knees be? I don't know. You need my knees do their own thing a lot too. Yeah. Well, I look whack. I didn't, I haven't said anything. Why Rory looking at my knees like that anyway? I mean, they look a little frail. I think you tougher than those knees. That's all. <laughs> well, someone would find out if they tried me over my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Um. All right. So now you were saying, yeah, Griselda album is great. Yeah, great yeah. project. Uh, if you haven't did, heard does, it, you does check anyone it out. know? Well, maybe you would know, Joe. Do you know how many albums they owe? I would like to see them all. This is not a shady slight. It's just I think them them in a major period. I would like to see them. Slight. I think this is the last one. Mm. I would just think they move better without a major label. Well, I think Conway has one, and Westside has Rory one. Trying to give so me I think yeah, Rory's so trying to give me shade on shady. I ain't falling. I'm not. No, no, no. It's, it's, they could be signed to Atlanta. I, I, I think the they thing. could do better without Shady. How about you, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even say. I didn't even ask you. Yeah, this guy. I do, think that, what he I do think that they could do the same impact in numbers. That's what I'm major saying. Major or not. I, I, yeah, They've been moving without. It doesn't matter what label. They, they yeah. move like they're independent. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter what label they are. Yeah, they got a, a, a they do everything on their own already. Fine tuned exactly. machine over there. Yeah, they just working. What's yeah. Maul? That's because Maul leading the charge. What is Maul's Griselda true. Avengers name? Who would he be? He's kind of like the freaky Zeke of Griselda. Stupid. Like you don't rap, <laughs> but you in the group. No, I'm in, I'm insulting Maul. Of course, it would be Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I am for the for the for the Griselda Avengers. Yeah, you would want the Iron, yeah. right? Because he yeah, no, yeah. Cause, cause he carry the iron and he's a man. Around them niggas, absolutely. That's his, that's his Iron Man. He don't have a costume. He's got a gun. Yeah. He's gonna shoot and more top off his fucking head. Get over here and try to save the day. <laughs> shoot that merch right off of you. Uh, all right, now Griselda, Griselda. I'm checking it out. I'm checking that out this weekend. Uh, yeah, really good album. What What else dropped? Man, shit dropped. A lot of shit dropped. Uh, the weekend put out a new record. Uh, mm. He did. Two, two new records. Wait a well, minute, I f- and I want to harken back. A fan reminded me, say, Vaughn, you're going to lose your job, man. But <laughs> I'll be asking you some of this shit is important. Whatever that was that Party did in August 2016, a fan let me know. The weekend was right there in September 2016 to step on it. And that is where I came away with the, hey, why does it seem like this that's a guy? Month. That's a step on. Yeah. Fam, it's not. Well, 2016. Y'all are not about to tell me. 2016, that might be a step on. Y'all not doing that. 2016. No, I'm talking about this time. 2018, 2019, no, because music comes out every day now. Okay. But 2016, yeah, that's a step on. That was probably the last year where niggas could really step on that. All right, so if I do it again three years later. But it's different now, though. What's the difference Because music comes out every day now. The weekend is not (laughs) doing... His rollout around one party is and, dropping a two pack. And Hove, he's just not doing it. Of course, it. he's not. In the same way, Hove is not purposely dropping with Nas. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to talk about that one day. <laughs> no, I'm waiting to see the next. I'm waiting to see the next release. Fam. If the next yo, release, though. Yo, these the guys next, are crazy. No, listen. If the next release, if the fourth release, it no, happens. because yo, if, if we no, do it again, no, because if yo. Nas, if Nas put out a joint in January, and uh, Jay comes to, uh, uh, I'm like, no, 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 no. Is, we're fam, not doing that. That is what's happening, no. Mom. Hell no. Roy, Roy, that motherfucker put, put out an album with his wife. Yo, these guys are. All, these guys. No, are I'm looking. No, because look, no, I'm paying attention and to it. Dropped it on a Nas. If this happens with the next Nas release, then we got so three strikes, you're out, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, then we're going to have to talk about it. Yo, y'all can only be but so many Vengers. What do you mean? I'm <laughs> I, not Venger nothing. I'm now, just saying I'm paying attention to it. I am a whole Venger with y'all. I'm just saying and, I'm paying and attention I'm to it. I'm Silver Surfer, too. I'm, I'm just saying I'm paying attention to it. That's all and I'm saying. You're not Silver Surfer. I am Silver Surfer. You're Daredevil, too. No, yeah, yeah, you're Daredevil. Yeah, you're Daredevil. No, y'all anointed me, appointed me that. I'm Silver you. Surfer. Oh, no. I'm Silver Okay. Whoever your name is, <laughs> whoever you think you're you serious to me. Okay. You didn't have that energy when Max was on the phone. Because mm. Max is silver. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Daredevil. Anyway, back to. 
Back to the weekend records. What'd you guys think? Yeah, nah, React. I just got dugged out of fucking Silver Surfer. Yeah, sorry, bro. I mean, if there's, well, Dear if there's Devil's a person- not my backup. But no. <laughs> you have no choice. Oh, I'm Loki. <laughs> Well, niggas, nigga, Earth no, slammed you right through the. That's door. Rory's people. Yeah, yeah. No, my friend is Loki. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> what we want to talk about? <laughs> let's get, we're talking about the weekend. <laughs> let's get back to the weekend. All right. So y'all don't believe that the weekend is stepping on party shit? No. Nah. Yeah. I don't think so. But why not? Because <laughs> he has better things to do. <laughs> like what? Tour the world and like, yeah. mega stadiums. His own music. <laughs> Nigga's not touring the world. He's chilling. He's about he to. Oh, right now, yeah. Uh, he, did one all, he did one tour and went right back to Selena to write fucking songs about all his exes. Hey, fam, as somebody who writes songs about their exes, you have time when you do that. <laughs> y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all, why, if that's the topic why, at hand, you why, why, why do y'all think that these fucking mega stars don't have time for anything? No, that's no, not what we're suggesting. Y'all don't think it's that nobody... the weekend could pull out his phone and say, oh, that's when he's dropping? <laughs> Watch this. And put out a record? Uh, I mean, I could see No, no, that. not a record. A you acting no, 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 like no, no, no. weekend singles just come out like that. No, no that's my point. There's, they, a, lot they, of, they there's a lot of thought involved. So yeah, and it has nothing pro- to do with party next door. It's just probably miraculously landed on the same week right after the party's two-pack, his two-pack. Well, they're, maybe... Like who, weekend two-pack. Who had the better two-pack? Maybe they're like chicks on their period. They have who, their cycle together. Uh, Tupac is the best Tupac. That's a good point. Uh, but after that, come on, who had the better two-pack? Uh, weekend. Yeah. By hair. Yeah, it wasn't by landslide. Yeah. I like the Metro Boomin Joy. I didn't love the other one. Yeah. Nah, it was by a lot. You think yeah, so? I'm, I'm with you. It was by a lot. I, I, like, thought, it was I, by, like, I thought it was by a whole lot. I like the news. Cause I want to hear y'all. Because the, the, the Blind Lightning or whatever that second song was is way better than uh, uh, Party's commercial Drake smash. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a lot better than is that. Is it a lot I better mean, than the news, I didn't though? enjoy either of them. So. And then the other, the other weekend joint is that was pretty hard news, but not a lot better. It's, it's harder than news. I don't news. think it's better than the news. I think it's better than news. I like Blinding Lights, though. I like both the records. And I think they're better than I like both the, the Heartless one is the Metro Boomin one, right? Oh, like Heartless. One. No, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you Heartless. know what it is? The Weeknd is a megastar. And he's one of the megastars that, like... See, the two-pack, to me, was reserved for a megastar. That, that's where the two pack okay. started from. Yeah, you have to be a certain you caliber. Had, of you artists had to be to a that. certain caliber because now your audience is, you, is too large. So you're going to drop one for this side, and now I got to still get the business paid. I'm going to drop one for my over here. Mm-hmm. And he just did it correctly to me. Like the Heartless record is for them over there, mm-hmm. and this Blind by Lightning shit, this is going to be played at every H mm-hmm. and M across the America till next September. Yeah. yeah. So though, he, though I do he, love it. He did his it right. Superstardom that he can still he still starts record with I don't need a bitch. I'm what a bitch need. Like I appreciate that he's in this mega star pop world and still gets his shit off. Okay. He stole yeah, he stole uh stole line of uh opening line of the year right from Summer Walker on that Chris Brown record. <laughs> My last nigga was a bitch nigga. How about this? How about this? <laughs> I got one for you, Summer. Yeah, yeah, Heard yeah, about yeah. your little Toronto thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I like I like that from Weekend. I like both of these records. Uh, I look forward to the album. I know how the album's going to sound. It's going to be crazy, and that's it. This is not an ad. I just look forward to it. For mm-hmm. y'all to say I don't like anything. <laughs> I mean, you don't. I like a lot of shit. And the people I come on here and, and talk about sounding like I don't like them, I like them. Yeah. Which is why I'm talking like that. Because I'm disappointed and sad. That's cool. All right, All right. Do we have to get to our guy. Well, here's somebody you don't like. The game album came out. Here's the thing, man. What's the thing? Let's hear it. Why does someone that behaves that way make such amazing music? <laughs> and that's always been my problem. Because the album is good. It's a good album. The it album is, is fire. Yeah. yeah. It's a really good album. I just wish he didn't make decisions the way he does. <laughs> does it make sense, the album cover, now to you? Fan- Parks. Did- <laughs> Parks. He said he had to hear the music Parks. to make sense of the album cover. Don't do that. I'm just wondering if it made Maybe Maul has some insight. No, it still doesn't make sense. <laughs> but it's a good album. It is a good album. It's a it good, album. good album. And it's but really I, I, long. But we didn't. We expected a good album, though. I think we expected that. Game doesn't really... He doesn't make bad albums. That's true. So we expected that. Um, I think y'all are downplaying this man's album. <laughs> I just want to know how... You don't like it? How you start... Your intro like this, mama. and then look at your album cover and um, go, yeah, that yeah. matches. <laughs> Yo, mama, I tried. Y'all remember the rough times, but we made it. We made it. 
Dr. Used Dre. To, used to sh- <laughs> <laughs> just, just throwing a... Yo, 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 Dre. I used to dream about a beat from Dr. Dre. You'll never guess what happened next. You guessed it. I met Dre. <laughs> Even though I only got one album of beats from him, I said his name for 30 years. I never... I never let y'all forget how much I love Dr. Dre and his music. <laughs> Even when he forgot about me for Kendrick and all the other dope rappers. <laughs> Even when I named my album after him and then never saw the two together again. I really miss Dr. Dre beats. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Savon scared. <laughs> Savon like LA, that's why. Mm. That is Damn. True. You didn't like the album though? Yo, what I would do if I got my hands on a Dre beat right now, <laughs> I might not even drop a name. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, that ain't <laughs> That's not happening. Mm, yo, Snoop. Yo, this one goes out to Los Angeles, just like my last one was for Los Angeles. <laughs> yo. Like and, the album named Los yo, Angeles. <laughs> in, in case you're confused about who I'm doing it for, it's Dr. Los Dre. Angeles. <laughs> Oh, but Dr. And, Dre is from and guess Los Dre Angeles. Is from? <laughs> Y'all thought I was done. <laughs> damn, Ed. Yo, damn, man. Why couldn't Dre have done this? <laughs> I love this beat, but it don't got Dre's name on it. Hey, turn this up, turn this up. All the way up. Was that English? What? <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, <laughs> yo, turn that down. Turn that down, Rory. Yo. There you go. <laughs> Actually, pause that. Yo. There you go. Yo, my 19th album. Y'all probably had no idea who helped me plant the seed. Guess what? <laughs> mm, Dre did it. it was Dr. Dre. Of course. I'm, no, not from. No, 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 no. Not with Ed Lover. No, 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 no. no. Not that Dr. Dre. No, no, no. Oh, I, Although we do like that Dr. Dre. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. man. No. Oh, but no, he said the chronic seed. Dr. Dre from. Because he had an Angeles. album called The Chronic. And he was born to rap as a seed. Uh, oh no, that boy's he's pod now. <laughs> <laughs> See that boy, that boy Rory's pod now. Because when Rory now. tied together like that, yeah, he in his bag. He pod now. Now he pod. That's what I do, more. I know. Yeah. I see. You. You Professional. Think, you think niggas just are that much in control of when they fart? Honestly, I think you can. It depends. It depends. It depends. <laughs> Not it depends. For real. It depends. It depends on how bad your stomach is. You like, think like farts for, are like. Now you gotta let that shit out, man. For, for the listeners don't know, Joe was outside and then came inside to fart. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was just perfectly normal until Maul highlights it. <laughs> no, that's not normal to be standing outside and then come inside and fart. When you gotta I'm fart, wrong. you gotta fart. What's, no, that's true. No, Parks has yet to fart in, in this house. That's, <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm laughing. Well, no, I started fart. farting. I get in trouble. You fart around your girl? Yeah, now? I get in a lot of trouble. Oh, Every time. Progression. Uh, there, is a, there is fart etiquette, though. There is. Yeah. Not when you have a girlfriend. That's my favorite place to fart. Is <laughs> On her. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Oh, y'all, them type of boyfriends. <laughs> Courtesy as a boyfriend doing that is I lift the blanket a little bit, let a little bit look, out. Okay. okay. I, let, uh, I, let, I let it seep out a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if, if you're ill, you just trap her under the covers when you do it. That's I think dangerous. it's called a Dutch oven. <laughs> if, okay. you, if you have restraining orders, then, then, you, <laughs> then you don't do that. How does that <laughs> That's Yo, how you got the restraining hey, order? Lift, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> to to, to go from restraining order to having her in your bed is yeah. such a... Yeah. Opposite. All of Rory's entire joke style would change if he just started watching 2020. I'm telling you, the new 2020 is exactly about this. What is whatever Dutch his ovens. name is? Keith Van Dorden. Talking about she wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> I trapped her under the blanket, and then I don't know what happened. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah all right. it's out of my control at that point. Yeah, I bet. Uh, all right, so off of Farts. I'm glad Parks is farting around the girl now. Yeah, man. Yeah, round it's of applause. Live a little. Parks, man. Yeah. Go Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where, were, where were we? Some important. Game. Oh, game. Game. Born to rap. Jesus, man. Born to Great rap. album, man. No. Oh, yes, Jesus. It's, it's, really, it's an really, hour and a half really long. Good. That's not easy to make an hour and a half of good music. It's a lot of music, yeah. I know. I, I came in here. Or no, not me. But one of y'all came in here and was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about how long this is. And I was like, all right, we had to take a stance. Like, mm-hmm. we can't beef about short albums and long albums. I like short albums. We have to pick one that we like. I like short albums. I like short albums, do you too, never but... like? Do you never like the long album? Uh, rarely. Well, they really make it now. <laughs> no, they make it a lot more now than they ever did. Yeah. Bullshit. Trying to, try to boost the streaming numbers. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Definitely. That's just Chris. 
<laughs> well, he led the he led the pack. Who sure. else? Chris he, and Game. He's the Mike Jordan of this shit. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but Game usually there. makes long albums. Yeah, he does. Like that's his. Ray Schrummer put out a triple album, bro. Migos put out a double no, album. Parts, Davies parts, shit was parts, like twenty six songs. None of us knew Ray Schrummer put out a triple album. <laughs> <laughs> we listened to the middle one. Yeah, that was, yeah. We heard some of Slim's was like, all right, I see how he coming. Yeah. Like, all right. So, so what, where's Sway Lee's uh, yeah, we, solo joint? Don't do that, no. Julian. <laughs> <laughs> You're too tall listening to Ray Sherman anyway. <laughs> That's uh, a fact. Who else you said? Davies. Davies shit was 26 songs, some shit like that. A lot of artists put out long well, albums. So. Obviously, it gives you more room to make mistakes, but. Yeah. <laughs> Going through this track list, I, there's not much Uh-oh, that would Rory really cut. in his deep dive mm. bag. What's the standout? Uh-oh. What's the standout? Uh-oh. Going through this track list. <laughs> what happened uh, when you went through it, Roars? Because I was with Parks. I'm not the biggest fan of long albums, and I, there's not much to cut. I'm not the yeah. biggest fan of doofy niggas. But this, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But this nigga's nice, man. <laughs> really good album. This, this is a really good album. He makes good albums, though. So. And the fact I that think, you know what? I I th- know. Oh, that's what I was saying. I think y'all are understating this album. This is not a good album. It's a this, great this album. is not a good album. This is not a good album. It's a great. very good album. This is a great album on, okay. on Listen One. That's what I'm saying. I listened to it one time, so I can't, I can't like, go great. That's some one. bullshit. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all did so I listen. Y'all wasn't nobody trying to hate on it? I was. Yeah. <sighs> oh, no. That's why I'm surprised because you was definitely waiting for this one. I wasn't waiting for this one. No, you were waiting I, I didn't to know shit when on it was dropping. No, but you I was going to shit on it whenever it came. Yeah, it came next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, man. I don't know how cohesive this... Yeah, I was... <laughs> no, you cohesive, cohesive guy. Cohesive. Oh, my, oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, this might be the most cohesive album I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even use it. Yo, God damn, <laughs> Everything man. ties together. Yeah. Oh, man. Yo, the skits Yo. were horrible. Man. Actually, they're yeah. pretty good. <laughs> man. I knew... I, this is when I knew that... See, sometimes you'd be face-to-face with your hate. Mm-hmm. And listen, it takes a moment of maturity for you to even recognize that. But this is when I knew I was face to face with my hate, even though I'm writing this. I'm writing this, but still, like, shut up, nigga. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to track one, I listen to track two. They smoke. Oh, boy, do I love when track one. The transition. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Got did, me. The, did the song uh, even change? <laughs> <laughs> Do the yes. song. <laughs> boy, am I a sucker for that one. So he did that. Even track one, did that track two, track three, track four. I'm at tra- like track five. He's dropping a bunch of names. And I'm like, I'm not never going to kill a game for dropping names. I killed him. And this is what you do. You drop That's names. That's his thing. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah, go it's, ahead. It's, Do it. Not for game. me, but fine. Have a blast. Right. Uh, but at track five, I was like, Damn, some about the way his vocals are mixed on it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was mixed well. It was mixed well. No, I still think that something was up with how his vocals was mixed. It's something that sounds different. It don't sound like the vocals and the tracks are like one. It sounds like. Oh, you're really looking for a nitpick. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because once I said that to myself out loud. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't say it, if you don't Holy shut shit. the fuck up, who cares? <laughs> she Holy be, shit, yo, man. You, Joe Budden? Yeah, I'm about to say it. <laughs> I'm about to say All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. You right. You right. My bad. You right. No, go ahead. Go ahead. no, no. It's no. your platform. No, no, this, no I can't do right. that. It's, it's, about the, it's not about plan. you right Come now. On. It's about this the game. No, but it's about the game right now, so we're going to continue going to rap. You know what I'd be mad about? Y'all don't have to acknowledge the diss if... I'm dissing myself. Like you don't, always, you don't have to turn around. No, Yo, yeah. funny you should say that. I was just saying to yeah. myself, nah, you're mixing. Like, you can't discuss mixing. Yeah, I, I just listened to Moon Music too at the volume oh, as, as high as possible, oh, and I'm still well, going. What is he saying? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> like, man. I missed that one line. What did he say? My bad, bro. My bad. You still I know man. people don't use shuffle anymore, but <laughs> going from a regularly mixed song. To move music too. To move music too. Or to one of Joe's regularly mixed songs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck move music. <laughs> yeah, look, Parks don't think it's so funny now. Ah, bitch. I see what you did. I see what you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. But that's what I realized. It was like a little bit of eight. All right, cool. And then the album just kept going. The beats, the beats were all great. He rapped over Devil's Pie. I was hooked. Yeah. <laughs> uh Fucking, he, he put 21 Savage there. I thought he was making me like Blueface, but it wasn't Blueface. I felt better. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, really, really. Good. Shout to Dom Kennedy, too. Executive producer. Yeah. Shout good out. job. Yeah. But Dom always makes, makes good projects. Stop, relax. Stop, 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 stop. 
Don't you like Dom Kennedy? <laughs> I didn't say that, but y'all have to stop with it. You know, he another one that always makes them. Everybody don't feel like that. I feel like I don't give a fuck with everybody. I feel like Dom Kennedy I, makes good projects. No, but what? But, but don't speak for the rest of the world. Yo, he another one I'm always. I'm he's speaking not, for my. He I'm ain't in the class. Of whenever the, I say one something, that always, whenever, whenever I say something, it's, it's for me. It's not for nobody else. It's what I think. He in the class. He do. Dom makes good projects. He has, okay, a, good, I didn't say he has a good ear for music. <laughs> like he makes good projects. So when he was executive producing this, I was like, this has to be a good project. And right. it is. It's well, really hold good. on. No, let's. <laughs> Let's let's no? get to let's get to the real <laughs> the game Yo, and, the game Rory and Dom this. Kennedy. No, no, no. You hear more being funny, man. How you hear more funny, saying, man. Yo, once I seen Dom name was attached. Dom and game. It's a classic. <laughs> yeah, How, that can't be a trash album. Shut the fuck up, Maul. That can't be. This a, is a Dom Vendors. Dom Kennedy and game together ex- <laughs> producing they, the album. No, how could they lose? I'm just they, they, they can't didn't. Miss. Can't miss. They uh, didn't lose. Obviously, I'm right. They didn't lose. That's all I'm saying. That's all I was saying. When Dom and Game come together, I'm just saying, I, it, was, it had to be a good album. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. It had to be. No, we we need to address the real elephant in the room, Maul. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Maul Port of Miami two or uh, Born to Rap. Mm. Both have twos in them. And, mm. and Dom only held with one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dom only held with one of these classics. Hmm. Ain't no hum, nigga. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on, it man. Ain't no hum. It's all right. It's okay. I like, I like, I like, I like Born to Rap. I only listened to it one time, though. But I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's a good album, a really good album. But I mean, off of one listen, it's it's more, it's more music. It's more songs. That's so, a good point, more. I mean. <laughs> Thanks to Dom. It's almost, it's almost a double. It's almost a double. Nah, nah. Dom did that. He, he did. You got to give him his credit. I don't have to give he him did. shit. Why? Because I don't. He executive produced the album. That's great. If it was Puff, you would give him his credit? Yes. Exactly. Yes. All right, when Dom go make some fire out of Danny Kane, I'm going to give him some credit, too. But this hey, is, this tell is the Dom first, go get with Day this, 26. Well, Willie right there on Instagram. No, I, think I mean, a lot of people first. say that's why Danny Kane didn't make it. Cause they didn't have Dom. That's, mm. that's, a good that's point. like that's a main. No, but thing I think this say. is his first project that he executive produced that wasn't his own shit. I'm just saying, and he makes good projects. So no, it was no, like for okay. real, yeah. That's all I'm saying. He did a great but job. You, he did a great job. He did. So, so you're not <laughs> going to answer the that question. That has nothing to do with clowning Maul about. Oh, what yeah, no doubt. <laughs> like. I just wanted to make sure. Born to rap. Born to rap is probably better. Now back to clowning Maul. Born to rap is better. Yes, born to rap is probably better. No, it's not. Huh? Oh, born to rap. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, born to rap. No, but that's a better album. It is. Yeah, it's probably better. This nigga's such a doof, though, man. <laughs> and that's where I stand with Maul. See, that is my critique about this Born to Rap album. Okay. As great as it is, and boy, it's great. It's cohesive. It's great. No, it's great, great. It's yeah. a great album. It is. It's really good. And I don't want to dick eat because he's a doof, but this is a great album. Mm-hmm. But he don't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> For all of that rapping and 90 minutes of great production and great everything, it's all great. What'd you learn about game? Not much. He's from Los Angeles. Yeah. Loves Dre. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. Uh, the Chronic Seeds and all that. Yeah. Uh, I believe he's, he's, in an, a gang. he's an affiliated with a gang. Yeah. yeah. But that's my thing. I, he loved, like, he born, paved the way for some West Coast niggas. Imagine the West Coast without game. Can't. True. True. Born to Rap is a better, it's better music than Port of Miami. Port of, Port of Miami is a better rapper. No, Ro- right. Ross is rapping better. That's, that's where my difference between them, them two are. Yeah, okay. Port of Miami is from a, 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 from a better person. <laughs> just an overall better human being. Yeah, you that, that's it. I mean, I, it. I, I don't know. I don't even know how to respect from a better person. <laughs> Never heard of someone from a better person. Because I don't okay. longer care who raps better. All right, you rap better on Monday. I rap better Tuesday. Your album's better this year. My album's better next year. You got with a better producer this time. I got with a better producer this time. You had a bigger budget this time. Added with, like so. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't care about that I told y'all two years ago Whatever podcast that was I was talking crazy about M I don't care I'm not judging niggas Off music no more Ross made great music Game made great music They both great, make great uh, They're both great rappers And they both multi-millionaires Yeah but right. The end there Now Who's winning the human awards <laughs> Yeah that's what I'm rolling with uh, Congratulations to Game On yet another great album This is a great yeah. album I, I don't yeah. have anything to any, There's nothing to say yeah. it's, nothing, it's good Yeah It's like really good it's but really why good. would he pick this album cover if the if he knew the music was this good? I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't imagine being I can't in the studio together. listening to that production and then looking at this image and going, "Yeah, because so that match. says he's a doof." He <laughs> would think he was trying too hard to be different. I think he tries too hard to do everything. Okay, mm. that's I don't think there's one thing in the world that game don't try hard to do. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> that album cover is fucking hilarious. It still sucks. <laughs> Y'all not rolling? No. Nah. Where, where was Dom for that one? <laughs> Dom. Yeah, no, no. Dom got to take that credit too. Dom, That's Dom, true. Dom co signed that cover more. Come on, man. No, I think that was the games half of the executive. Cover. Mm, <laughs> the games half. Yeah, that was half. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Man with the bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Fab dropped the album. He did. Summertime he did. three. Don't, cold don't kick your big toes together. I want to see what the Fab yeah, Avengers yeah. do, man. Don't do that. The Fab Avengers yeah, too. I'm, I'm a Fab Avenger. I'm, yeah. I'm a Fab Avenger. Walt's definitely a Fab Avenger. <laughs> yeah, it's my guy. So, break it down. You're not a Fab Avenger? Hey, not so much. <laughs> I like Fab. I did not like this album. I need a list of the Fab uh, Parks Avenger list. Preem, would you? Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, why, sure. why don't you like this album? Uh, trying to sound current too much. So if it was if it wasn't part of the summertime shootout series, if it was something totally different, I don't, from that. I don't, I don't do that. I don't like. Oh well, this is just a mixtape, so he can do whatever fuck he. I don't, I don't <laughs> like. I don't subscribe to that. Like it's an album or something. I not, agree. Yeah, I think whatever you're doing, you should put your best foot forward. Yeah, no, I agree. Definitely agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, but did you take into account that Dom didn't participate in this? Well, that's a good point. Well, Come he was on, busy man. with games. Come on, man. Yeah, this is time. just Fab. He can't do two things at once. It's not no, Dom no, no. and Fab. That'd be unprofessional. <laughs> just saying. Dom and Fab. <laughs> just saying. I don't know why that's hilarious. Because <laughs> Maul is hilarious. <laughs> what? Yo, man? Maul say things so matter-of-factly. Maul, Dame, is, Maul, is, makes... Maul is one of seven people that said, oh, I knew once that same game and Dom's name together. Yeah, I'm one of seven Ooh, people that uh, pay attention to detail. Instant mm. classic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> instant. Don't say instant to me again. <laughs> hey, hey, you love it? You you going to give me up about 20 highway vids to this, to this album? I know that what is, you waiting on. That is on. true. You waiting for the West Side Highway Drive to play track five? <laughs> I, know, I know the bag you like to get into. I know your yeah, bag. You know I gotta wait till the sun goes yeah, down. Yeah, I know. I know your bag. I know your bag. They are gonna get a little highway vid. I tried to give him something last We're, night to, to Fab, but I, I deleted it. I hit X on the niggas. Bay dreaming Damn. wasn't wasn't. It didn't just fit this. Nah, it wasn't. wasn't Do you think Bay dreaming is a standout? Uh, yeah, yeah. On Fab shit. Yeah. One of y'all give a serious review first before we start joking. Well, Parks was start. I did. I, I just think I he was trying to, to fit seven. in too much. That's all. You said he was trying to fit in too much? Yeah. Okay. A lot of auto-tuning. Okay. That's not fab. Maybe he just likes auto-tune now. He does, clearly. So then who's he auto-tuned on your song. But if he likes it, then who's he trying to fit in with? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Avengers strike back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my defense. Okay. Rory, did you get to, listen, to live with it yet? I got to seven records before the pod. Okay. And, and then we had to record. Okay. You left. You were st- you were standing next to me. <laughs> no, <Don't> worry. <laughs> Did you get to live? <laughs> hey, you gotta live with it. Yeah, you gotta live with it, man. Let it grow. On, that's true. Did you get to live uh, with it? Yeah. yeah. Shut up, Park. It's shoot out bro, three. You, live yet. you know you gotta hear it in like <laughs> the, the right yeah. environment. Still gotta live, bro. Y'all ain't even let him live. Yeah. 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 Did you hear it on the right speakers? Yeah, the right speakers. Gotta hear it on different speakers. Yeah. Not just yeah, the phone yeah, yeah. and different phones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And different environments too. Right. Right. Because what works here might not work in the club and vice versa. Yeah. Have to do on a plane. Got to do the plane. This could be plane music. And in New Orleans, got to see how it sounds out there. That's true. I mean, yeah. most with most fab shit, I usually take a trip to New Orleans. To New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it's true. It's true. Yo, taking a trip and a nigga album come out. <laughs> hey, yo, he dropping. I'm about to book right New now. New Orleans. <laughs> we out. All right. So, you know, wait. I'm not gonna let y'all clown these types of musical adventures like this. Now, now, I would like for you guys. To share an album or body of work that came out that before it came out, like you had like a little plan for it. Um, yeah, shit, come a lot on, don't shit. do that. Yeah, I know. Had a yeah. Plan. To find a plan. Yeah, yeah to find a plan. plan. <laughs> What's, what do you mean, like? All right, well, I, I swore I was going to be in fucking Greece when Chick State Five came out. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Jersey. Uh, yeah, I didn't go nowhere at all. But that was my plan. With, with no chicks. I didn't want chicks tape to come out and me not be somewhere where I should be with a girl. Okay. So now you should be with a girl in Jersey. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> Boy, that's when the trouble happens. <laughs> Every, everything, go everything, everything, oh my god! Everything, about it, everything bad that's happened in my life has been because I've been with a girl in New Jersey. In New Jersey, <laughs> it is true, man. It's crazy. Girls in New Jersey, you got, I'm about to fight strangers, man. Yo, yo, delete your phone. Yo, delete that out your, yo. <laughs> delete delete your, your phone. phone. Now delete, delete your whole phone. phone. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. Yo. Joe's just confiscating phones yeah. in New Jersey. Step, step on your shit yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that shit. 
<laughs> you go to Joe Crib, he got 74. Yo, wait, yo, he's full. Yo, niggas mean the mall wallet. <laughs> Stop going to the mall. <laughs> They, they can leave do, your phone. By the way, they do be wild in the mall. They do. Double entendre. How? You pardon. <laughs> you, you are pardon. In fact. Mm-hmm. What's wilder? When they start wilding in the mall or when mall get to wilding? <laughs> Yo, that mm-hmm. Iron Man album? <laughs> <laughs> Tony Stark's who? <laughs> move over, Ghost. Oh. No, it's Ghost, a new Ghost, Iron Ghost Man. Ghost not have to move anywhere. Yeah, nah. Ghost is still right there. Yeah. <laughs> He's chilling. Um... So no no fab insights guys, I listened to it one time. I, I gotta sit with it. I, I wasn't. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, I wasn't. It wasn't. I like. I like maybe it, two joints. Rory I like got rubbed. So rub your nose, Rory. I like the. A- <laughs> Hold on, that's how I listen to music. <laughs> I gotta do this while I listen. I like the A Boogie record. I like that one. I like the uh, drummer with uh, Roddy. I, Rich. I just gotta. I gotta get used to Faithful Fab. Uh, that's what it like, is. Like the content on this one was like, just different. Like I'm not in love right now. I'm not. Well, no, I'm not like. Mm. Yeah, mm. I gotta yeah. get I gotta get in that bag. Okay. You should feel like you can't trust women after a fab, fab project. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like all the dudes that make that type of music. <laughs> it wasn't toxic enough for you. No, Fab is like in love. <laughs> He's married, I think, right? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, he raps like it now. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't, I don't want that from my Fab. <laughs> 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 it's not how you take your fab. Uh, yeah, I like my fab with a little bit of toxic on the side. I do, I do too. No, I understand. Yo, you know what the thing is? No, it's not even that. Let me get a little more in depth. It's not that because I like when the rappers grow up and start doing things the right way. You could be toxic. I don't. I don't like that. Fab. Fab is like talking down on me now. <laughs> like, he's the, niggas he's the, yo, y'all don't love your girl nigga you doing wrong yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better learn to treat her right not only in the salt like like, yeah. like oh shit fat maybe I did do something wrong fat, fab acting like that, that chick that finally got a man yeah and, and look down at all her friends that was, yeah. when she was single yesterday yeah fab is uh <laughs> even the hooks like it's just tight yeah I've I been there before I, I get it <laughs> I've been there before Whenever you're doing Everything you can To get your household Back right None is working So you just gotta go Make an album about it Yeah <laughs> I, Listen man You ever catch a cold In the Jay, summer Jay, Jay did two of them And a tour <laughs> It's very inconvenient Parks When you catch <laughs> it, a cold In the I summer know. Don't I know <laughs> <laughs> It's not one of my favorite. Yeah, it's it's a very time. inconvenient. <laughs> it's a terrible time to catch cold. It is. Nah, you, you, know, you, you Parks probably. never had a shootout in the summer. That's nah. true. Because that's, it's not the pleasantest. Yeah, no. that's Especially you when you got one. a cold. Especially when you do, well, it, when you do it three times. <laughs> <laughs> Are you more of a fall shootout guy? <laughs> when, it's, when it's your third shootout in the summer, you're like, damn, Yeah, bag your clothes. Fuck. These Come niggas on. won't go bowling. Fine, away. I won't go bowling then. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta love bowling if you get in a shootout three times at the same lane. <laughs> yeah, I'm, now I'm going back. Y'all laughing, but that's the funniest part about getting in a fight unexpected. <laughs> like, you had a plan. You, you, you had something to do. Yeah. Now yeah, what? This wasn't it. Well, yeah. Now what? What's the up whole now? night is fucked up. Mm-hmm. What you gonna do? You gonna just go home? You gonna go call some friends? You still got like, what? You gonna wild out now? I love that part of Your fighting. Whole night is fucked up. Um, <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't let us out of jail. All right, we're gonna talk about <laughs> I can't believe they wouldn't let us out of jail. No. Yo, I meant to ask y'all actually, what are y'all we come on, we're not doing that vague shit. Fucking 90 minutes in. What were some of the things specific things that y'all were grateful for? I had some gratitude for Thanksgiving. Oh um, don't give me the generic, yo, my family was there. I get it. You love your family, me too. But like y'all didn't sit back and reflect at all and was just like, damn, all right, I'm kinda all right. I'm 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 happy for uh, this. Yeah, I'm proud absolutely. of this. I love this. I I mean, sort of cliche, but I was very thankful that I was able and fortunate enough to host my family. That's dope. The yeah, first time I thought that was really cool. Your mm-hmm. Yeah, did everything dope. in my apartment. Oh, that's yeah. dope. Yeah, so it was the first well, you time. You still didn't bring us food from there. It's not the crib. <laughs> you gotta come to the crib. Oh, okay. No. You got a microwave? <laughs> you got a microwave? <laughs> I have, a, I have an oven, a microwave, hey, a frying they, pan. Hey, when they try to fucking con you to their house. No. <laughs> so you bring hey, the, I'm never bring trying the food to, the, bring the food to, to the meetup. Yeah. <laughs> we pod twice a week. Bring the food. Uh, but it was dope. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I was thankful for that. That I was in a position to do so. Yeah, it's dope. Did you say the prayer? No, I did not. You didn't graduate to that level yet, right? I did carve the turkey, though. That's, mm. gra- that's, a, gra- that's a graduation he type pod. of thing. Yeah. 
He pardoned. No, he pardoned now. <laughs> yeah. he pardoned now. Uh, I'm just grateful that my mom finally retired. I didn't think she was going to do it. Oh, wow. Congratulations, sir. Oh, yeah, so she it's finally dope. retired. So I was grateful for that. Because she, my mom will work until she can't work no more. Yeah. It's beautiful now that you afford her to do that, right? <clears throat> um, Right? I'm not quite there yet, but yeah. Oh. I'm working to get there. Oh. I just tried to jazz up your story. No, it's no. <laughs> you can leave it. You can leave it. Just threw some parsley on the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I was grateful for that though. Like yeah, she 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 worked. She enough. deserved it. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. She worked enough. That's dope. Yeah. Has anyone ever said That's their it. mom just? Nah, mom don't deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I always love. When I've niggas, never heard of a mom that didn't. Nah, deserve I always something. love when niggas be like, I came from nothing. When rappers like, I came from nothing. <laughs> Then you meet that mom We'll be like Yo, She's college educated yeah. Like yeah. Always had a you house You came in a really Stable environment <laughs> You came from a First car was a bad <laughs> yeah, What the fuck Are you talking about Like I came from the mud No you didn't mm-hmm. You drove a Volvo <laughs> You got a backyard With a pool in it nigga. Well when it rains It gets money Yeah Volvo Is the middle class Porsche Yeah Listen, Volvo is a quality Look, Long Island niggas know yeah, they know <laughs> Long Island niggas know 100% <laughs> Y'all got the Volvos On deck out there yeah, yeah. Volvo is a quality I just look at y'all like Damn yeah, man Mom Duke's got a Volvo SUV shit that, I was like that's, right, that's, that's the white Toyota Yeah The white Toyota <laughs> Yeah that's like the fancy Toyota The Volvo The Volvo's yeah. definitely better Than the Toyota <laughs> No of course it is No My mom killing the Mazda game right now mm. Alright so y'all only gonna share Like one thing y'all like Was happy about huh Just like We gonna get it in doses yeah, mom's retired. You hosted. Yeah, I'm really thankful for you guys, man. Mm. He pod. Oh, he man. trying to pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He trying to pod. Yeah. I wasn't even fishing for that, but I was. <laughs> but I was just waiting for you to say it. <laughs> Don't dope. I'll take yeah, it. We just sat around the table and said, "Yo, Joe, man, we're thankful." <laughs> that was it. Rory's Rory's jokes are unable to penetrate my force field because I've had long talks with Rory's dad, mm-hmm. like with a few drinks. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rory's dad appreciates me mm-hmm. So fuck Rory <laughs> <laughs> Fuck what Rory has to say about anything <laughs> Fucking Rory's dad is great uh, Pars what about you? I appreciate y'all I agree with that sentiment I, I appreciate What about Buffalo? Come on Pars There's a lot going on up there So Yo, yo Pars went up there And found some news out <laughs> Found some news out. Parks went home. Look, he wiping his pa- chin. Parks went home, came back, said, I'm never going back up there. Yeah. Nah. Parks went home, and his mom was like, all right, now that you're here, I'll finally tell you. <laughs> you, were, you were adopted. You remember, cousin. <laughs> cousin somebody flipped. Yeah. Or, you know dad, right? Yeah. Oh, you know dad, right? <laughs> Let me tell Yo, man, I'm Y'all not saying that, I'm but not something not bad really might have happened, assholes. Man, yeah. probably nothing bad happened to Parks, man. <laughs> no, something bad happened. <laughs> Parks was supposed to something bad happened. I don't think nothing bad You know happened. your babysitter wasn't really the babysitter, right? <laughs> you know your, Yo, real, you know your real name isn't yeah, Parks. This, why, why won't he stop playing with his beard right now? He's making me awkward. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just saying jokes. Listen, man. I do I'm want, here for the jokes. I do want to know some of the like white, dark family secrets. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's a deeper, deeper, <laughs> deeper, darker uh, criminal no, I, I know. Yeah, white people, we got some shit, man. What tunes did uh did you guys throw on yesterday for the fam? What was I listening to? You know, I was gonna tweet, but I didn't tweet because I forgot. I kind of really, felt, I, really felt I felt a little slighted. I was bodying the pre cooking playlist, mm. and then I bodied the kind of in the background good music when everyone's chilling. Right. And I bodied the cleanup playlist, and not one person. Say, yo, yo, what song is that? Or, the music's been great tonight. You was bodying, <laughs> you was bodying it subconsciously, Rory. <laughs> That's what it was. Rory well, had, I played only yeah, B.O.B. Yeah, was, I was about to say, Rory had a little brother yeah. playing. <laughs> <laughs> they might have got some L.B. Uh, you know, you know, they might have got some. Rory grabbed the ox and get into his uh, just to get by Miss Fat Booty bag. At Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. It's funny. Now, nah, you, st- you actually stole that. that set you, yeah, Rory, you swear. You swear. It's not true, man. You admitted <laughs> it when you did it. Mm. I don't remember that. Yeah, no, no. Subconsciously. I, Subcon- I probably did that. Yeah, subconsciously, yeah. <laughs> um, but listen, I, I, just to get by I, I do like... Uh, is such it's the, the cliche. It's, it's, it's a little back. sick. I mean, is it? Like, I think so, but whatever. Shout out to Talib. Uh, I meant to come in here... He's a few, pretty good show. I, was, I meant to come in here like a few months ago and say his show is probably my favorite shot show. It shot, shot very well. Mm-hmm. He does. He does a YouTube. I guess it's like a podcast. Oh. It's talking to people. Okay, but it's good. 
I haven't seen it. It's shot really well. Yeah. Yeah. He does a really good job. Uh, great backdrop. Hmm. Just a great setting. Great cameras, great cuts, great editing. It's great. It okay. is great. Um, all right. If you haven't heard Fab's album, check it out. Yeah. I gotta listen to it again. But I like I like the A Boogie record. I like the uh, Roddy Rich record. Um, I listen to it again though. I wasn't blown away. I was a little underwhelmed. But I'll give it another spin. But I do like the A Boogie record though. All right. <laughs> Will it come on at dinner tonight? Oh, there you go. No, maybe that's the vibe. They're gonna be Osley Brothers all night in there. Oh, I'm coming. I know the vibe. <laughs> Your mom doesn't want to celebrate her retirement with Choosy. No. It's going to be the whispers. <laughs> it's going to be all types of shit in there. Oh, shit. You know who else dropped? Like, Heat Heat? Ye Ali. Oh, yeah. That's oh, right. yeah? Yeah. Shouts yeah. to Ye. No, nah, this project's great. No, it's Trap House, Jodeci 2. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, I was, I'm not going to say surprise because we know what he does. But I didn't get this from the last few projects from him. But again, the same with Tori and the Chick State 5. Like, when these kids get into their, like... This is his thing, like that mm. Trap House Jodeci thing. I just don't like the album cover, but I'll talk to him about that. <laughs> Yo, it's not, it's not for you. Don't do that, more. Give mm. me Jason Derulo vibes. Oh, well, it's two covers. <laughs> what's, the, what's the second cover? Another Jason Derulo cover. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the second cover. I'm joking right now. All right. One is Blowing Smoke, Holding a Rose. And the other got a little one, bit of red on And the other one is him doing the same in blue. <laughs> 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 It's a now, good album. Check it out if you haven't heard it. Below vibe. Trap House Jodeci 2 by Ye Ali. Yeah, really good. Uh, good album. Shouts to Ye. Yeah, I just don't like the cover because when you're a fairly new artist, people should be able to see your face. Like, You think he's handsome? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you just asked me? That's what they, that's, you talking about his face, man. I don't that, know. That, I don't know what you want I said from when me. you're a fairly new artist, the people should be able to see you. That's what Kevin Lyles told me in 2003. I, I didn't agree with that then. I don't agree with it now. That people should be able to see you? Yeah. Okay. So it let's, stop, let's stop filming this podcast. You said let's stop filming the podcast? Yeah, let's just do audio. How's that the same? So people don't have to see us. Shut up, Maul. <laughs> <laughs> you just said you didn't believe that. No, I don't I don't believe that a new artist has to show their face. That's they what do. I'm saying. They absolutely do. I think it could be helpful. It is helpful. I don't think that it it's hinders. extremely helpful that people know who they're listening to. Okay, but I, but for the people that may not want to do that, I don't think it means instant fail. I, no, I never said that. Well, Kevin Lyles did. Oh, <laughs> you know, I don't think that. Yeah, is yeah is talented, really great. I pick. like this whole thing. That's what I said when I looked at Fab's album cover. I was like, damn man, it's it's great that today, if you don't want to put your face on your album, you don't have to. Like, it's a bunch of dudes just doing whatever they want. New dudes as well. Shit, Griselda. Yeah. If you people, got some fire art, people know who they look like. I mean, know what they that look like. That is so contradictory, Mark. People do know what they look like. There are mad people that don't know what they look like. They probably don't know and their it music would, either. And it, that's my point. So it would help them. If whatever, I'm not gonna do this with you. Um, <laughs> what else is going on? What else is happening in the universe? Uh, besides Instagram being real slick with these new uh, I'm about pop to, I'm up advertisements. Me too, me too, I'm me too. To it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. If this yeah. shit lasts for more than like three more days, I'm gonna Instagram. It is, Wait, I am gonna delete it. They huh? pop up like they block your whole shit. Oh, that hasn't happened to me yet. Oh, it's gonna well, come. I'm not targeted. I'm not gonna <laughs> say that it's a pop up, I won't call it that. Well, that that is the later act that it does, but. They're smart ads now, I guess it is. So as you're scrolling, if you hit one, it pops up. And you can't close it. <laughs> and you and you can't close it, so the X in the screen means nothing. And it's just that you have to close out the thing in entirely. Yeah. And That's it's annoying. bullshit. Yeah. It's super bullshit. It's bullshit. Y'all are not slick. You are not low. It's super annoying. It's it reeks of uh Desperation. Des- yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the word. Desperation. It reeks of desperation. Uh, and it's nasty. I hope y'all get it together. Uh, but it's quick. Yeah, I'm going to delete this shit. Yeah. Because my stupid ass fingers, I do it every time. Me too. It's fucking every, obnoxious. Yeah, every time. Or at least get the X to work so you can close it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, don't pop shit that up. That happening, y'all? Not, Not trying to no. have, I, Just this weekend is when it started for me. And it's driving Same. me insane. Yeah. I meant to say something about it on the last podcast, but it slipped my mind. And then I saw your tweet, Parks. Yeah. And I was like, okay, great. So it's not just me. Yeah. Um, fuck Instagram. Okay. Absolutely. All right. That shit is trash. I'm with you. Uh, let's see. Subconsciously. Subconsciously. <laughs> uh, Fat Joe announced that he putting out a project in Next summer. Week. Yeah, with Dre, right? Next week. I'm waiting for it. There was, a couple, there was a couple producers on it, I think, in the uh, artwork. It said, but see, it says oh, Fat okay. Joe and Dre. Of Cool and for Dre. For Cool and Dre, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, they are, they're always great together. So, Well, that's true. <laughs> cool and Dre has done most of Fat Joe's material since yeah. like 03 or something. So it's called with Family Ties. It has Eminem, Lil Wayne, Cardi B, uh, I don't know. Parks, and well, and well, help me out there. Uh, Mary J. Blige, Jeremiah, Todd Aller, Boy Wonder, Hitmaker, and Cool and Dre. Looking forward to it. Sounds like Ozuna dropped the album too. Actually, speaking of uh, Latin okay. artists that are amazing, it's mm. really good. Osuna, Osuna, always here for a Fat Joe project. Yeah, absolutely. I heard a few joints from it. Uh, they all sounded pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> Industry insider. No, I meant like on his Instagram. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you're inside his Instagram. Well, not for long because I'm, delete- I'm I'm deleting mine soon. <laughs> the ad popped up when the when the record con- started. Con- consciously, consciously. <laughs> um, all right. What else is happening that is important? We did a movie review. Uh, new weekend, new game, new fab, new Griselda, Yali, Fat Joe. Oh, here's something I heard that's interesting. It has nothing to do with anything. I don't even know if it's true. I can't fact check it, but I heard it through one of my fucking sources. So I'll share it here just because I thought it was interesting. Excuse me. All right. I'd love to hear that on the mic. I was told that Joe Rogan doesn't know what a 16 is. Okay. Why would he? I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, why is that shocking to you? He's a comedian. I don't know. <laughs> I just felt like he should wait, know wait, what a 16 is. <laughs> what do you mean you had some inside information on that? It's probably on his podcast. <laughs> And you sat here and shitted on my Dom Kennedy take for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and that's the bullshit you just brought up to this podcast. Can, show us wait, can you can you reveal your source Joe on that Joe Rogan one? does not nah, know what a 16 is. Nah, I can never do that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> is Joe aware of this, this source? <laughs> that people, the source? That there's people within his camp running around saying he doesn't know what a 16 is? Yeah, no, nah, it's crazy. Just spilling his business like that? All right, that? but forget about that. How about y'all bring something to the platform? What y'all talking about? Oh, everything on my list is done. Bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, th- I kind of think everything on my list no, is done as well. I have some few things that we can just say. Uh, let's see, Uzi and drama we didn't get into, but I mean, what is there to really? Is there drama between Uzi and, and, and drama? Are they still going at it? Yeah, they are. Okay, Maul could tell us because Uzi is screaming at Rock Nation. Maul's the president of Rock Nation. We'll find that out about true. it eventually. That's true. Right? No, nothing about Uzi. Do you guys see that? Oh, you're uh, the president subconscious. Do you guys see AC Green doesn't <laughs> fuck with load management? Who? AC Green. AC Green. Oh, duh. That's not hard to tell. Uh, Only paid in eighty thousand straight games. I, I beg to differ. <laughs> I, I, He's, he was managing I, his load. I, I think he was successfully. The first, I think he was the first load manager. <laughs> if y'all think ACB wasn't in that locker room jacking off, <laughs> he was busting off. He may not have been getting none, but he was he was releasing a load. He was a virgin. He doesn't mean he didn't masturbate. The difference. <laughs> On the Lakers, you saying or the Suns? Which AC? No, he was. I think he was married. <laughs> I think he was married by the time he was on the Suns. But a lot of his early like Laker career, he was he wasn't married. So yeah, he was a virgin. Who's some of his teammates? Let me see. Showtime Lakers. You know who the Showtime Lakers was? James Worthy. Yeah. <laughs> think James had him out. <laughs> <laughs> think James had him out wild and running the streets. Ah, oh, James is the one. <laughs> it was James. That's definitely James. Right, nah, not, not Magic. It was James. Like nah, nah, nah. He wasn't hanging out with Magic. <laughs> Magic was hanging out. You know that. Oh, uh, yeah, that For actually, sure. yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's why I'm shutting up. Yeah. For sure. Any joke I say now, my yeah. subconscious said it. Subconsciously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah no, I don't have nothing else. Let me see. Uh, you niggas told me what y'all are grateful for. Black Friday. What are y'all buying? What are y'all buying today? Huh? Nothing. Uh, Something light. Nothing. Levi's. <laughs> <laughs> How much cheaper are they on Black Friday? 50% off, bro. <laughs> Gotta stock uh, up for the year. Let's that's see it. here. Yeah, there's nothing else. Uzi versus Drama. Oh, I'm in a fantasy dog fight. Oh, yeah? I'm in a dog fight this week. Is it? With Ja Rule? I beat Ja Rule. Okay. Light, light work of Ja Rule. I'm in third place in my league. Michael Rappaport is in second place. How many people go to the playoffs? Uh, I don't remember. There's 12 of us in there. I never made Probably the playoffs, six. so I wouldn't fucking know. <laughs> uh, but Michael Rappaport is in second place in the league. He has Lamar Jackson and Christian McCaffrey. Oh, shit. And I'm playing him. Oh. I need to win. Yeah. Good luck. I'm I'm projected to win. Projections mean nothing. They mean nothing. <laughs> Calvin really bum ass got me a few points yeah, on Thanksgiving. He got me some too. Yeah, he got me a couple of yeah, them. Yeah, a little thirteen. Helped you out. I was. They gave me seventeen, but I was watching the game, 
And I didn't see him do anything no, at all, so P- I turned PPR. it off angry. Thank God for PPR. And, man, he came through, man. Came through. Shout out to Calvin, really. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anything else. What else is important? Holiday edition of the Joe Button podcast. R- I mean, Killed the Rory it. and Maul podcast. They both have hard outs. Said we only get 30 <laughs> minutes of their time this weekend because it's a weekend. You know what I mean? That's yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got a little extra today, too. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> just cut yeah, it yeah they got a little more yeah, than yeah, that. No, just cut there it ain't no podcast. sleepers today, man. Yo, go to Wake sleep. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was great uh, We will be back Wednesday Remember next week We are back on the road Philly and Baltimore Saturday and Sunday December 19th We are at the Beacon Theater In New York City Let me hit a gunshot For you niggas Yeah that was great uh, And that's that man I don't think I have Any more announcements And we can get out of here What do you think Four recaps I'm gonna... Yep That's it all right. All right. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's see here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Another great pod, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we need all backwards skaters only, all backwards skaters only. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know nothing. You niggas yeah, wasn't nah, even skating ahead. backwards. Get in the, get in the skate nah, ring. Nah, because you niggas wasn't there, Joe. <laughs> I was there a little bit. Okay. Use that skate key. Getting, hey. getting, it, getting it rocking <laughs> Allenton Avenue though. Not, not the new skate key Old skate key <laughs> You don't know pain Until you try to follow around The girl you like At the skate ring But you can't skate <laughs> <laughs> You look stupid as hell oh Trying to catch God. it It's the worst place To be in the world for that uh, all right, real good pod, man. Listen, enjoy your weekend. We got snow coming to New York this weekend. I'm great. Slit. I'm excited about it. Not snow, Allegra. Snow. <laughs> uh, snow, Allegra was last weekend. What y'all getting into this weekend, huh? I don't know. Never time to know. get a Christmas tree. Yeah, I don't know. Christmas tree. It is, yeah, that, yeah, it's it's time. is that time. You going to do it? Oh, yeah. Real deal. You should go for the Christmas tree microwave package deal. <laughs> the bundle? The holiday bundle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill, Bill yo, will never yo, stop that bundle. It is Black Friday. Yeah. Yo, that's, that's the what, holiday bundle but, being the Christmas tree and the microwave. <laughs> but that's what killed me about Parks. He run around Black Friday, man, casual. Like, he don't need nothing. The microwave right there? <laughs> Rim in there. What do you get someone who has it all? <laughs> a microwave. Yeah. How about a microwave? Yeah. That's some really good ones. <laughs> Somebody somebody tweeted, girls are shit with birthday gifts. You'll hint at a Rolex all year. She'll turn up with a jar that's filled with 22 things she loves about you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great gift. <laughs> Get this fucking jar out of here. <laughs> you brought a jar, jar to my birthday? <laughs> I'll slam this jar all across this fucking room. I don't know why that's such like a known fact that women just cannot buy gifts. <laughs> it's crazy. One day we're going to get to the bottom of that, though. I think the women had one, to meet one day we I all like, like, like a good gift. It's not not, not even me. One one day we should get to the bottom of like women's anticipation of of your gift. Like they be trying to gas you into it. Oh, I thought went into it. Listen, save it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like what you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop thinking so much. Yo, anytime you think, yeah, no, shit get fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah. Consult with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even on the gift. Call me when you yeah. start thinking. It don't need to be a surprise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man Love when we get this Nice misogynistic bag Yeah Love it uh, Listen man Hope y'all enjoyed the podcast We will be back Next Wednesday God willing Keep us in your prayers uh, Lord knows We need to be there Until the next time Hold up Jeff Get in your shit That's what I be telling chick Believe in me Empower me Encourage me <laughs> Let me know <laughs> Let it <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> don't let go, but it seems that you want to leave me. Oh. You keep on running. Why was he still there? <laughs> Y'all don't hear him? Yo, it seems like you want to leave. You keep running. I'm chasing you. Like, what? what are you doing, Jeff? Oh, man. All right, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, Arrivederci. Peace. Hasta la vista. Adios. So long. Goodbye. Great pod. Uh, life is a series of moments and moments pass. 
So let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Remember, the girl is not cute. She's young. She's not thick. She's on a tippy toe. She doesn't have hips. She's on a sink, bed, or flat surface. She does not have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers. She's not healing. She's hoeing. That's not woman's intuition. She went through your phone. She's not bisexual. She's looking to make the threesome awkward. And mm. hold up, Jeff. Get in your freaky shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is harassment at this point. <laughs> He like the way she talks. You can't alone. say that. But he likes the way she talks. This talk. ain't progressive today. <laughs> no. This is a charge. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> she ain't him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. You move your body, yeah, Hottie. Hottie, no. I'm You're looking, going to jail, I'm looking Jeff. for the guy, little Peach speech, and we getting out of here, man. Uh... Let's, let's nah, see, I can't find it. She uh, she doesn't love tattoos. She's just covering her her scars from surgery. Mm. <laughs> he pardon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> 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 I was looking at this chick Instagram today. I saw a belly button. I was like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> they, st- they still make you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they it's still old made yeah, yeah. It's it's old it took me 90 <laughs> pictures but bitch I found one with your belly button in it yeah, look a little weird mm-hmm. <laughs> like a, she look was a in little, the chest <laughs> like a slot machine <laughs> shit in the wrong spot like, put, put your shit back in the middle <laughs> I don't understand how these doctors can sculpt that shit so well and just can't place a belly button to save their life Different doctors, man. No, please. All these bitches going to get the little S type thingamajiggy, whatever that is. It's S-type. a thing. Yeah, yeah. Give me the S. Y'all not in a club yet? Y'all ain't bought a chick from body yet? No. No. Me neither. Can't say that. Me neither. No, 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 Joe Biden. You take a 25 and go to a body? No, Wally and Ma. I know a couple basements in Queens where you get that time uh, for 2500 It's, it's, it's parks. What's that? Uh, the, um, not to my knowledge. <laughs> not to my knowledge. They didn't use my 25 like oh, that. Okay. And I've been saving the 25 a little bit. Oh, okay. Whoa. Look at you. Holidays coming around. I get it. Mm. Any Black Friday sales? Black Friday sales. The holidays. Tax season. I can't wait for these shows. Is pussy on sale today? That's what I wondered. <laughs> they give you a little promo code? One of us here will find out. <laughs> One of us here will find out. Listen, I was going to find I was gonna find out, but the worst part is when all the bad bitches was working in the club that good nigga shot at. Mm-hmm. Can't go there. Like, I'm not, <laughs> no. damn, I can't die for you. Yeah, no. Not on Black Friday. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, I can't die on Black Friday. No. Or a Saturday. True. It's fucked up because my day used to be Wednesday, but now here we are with the pod, so... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Thursday is when I'll clock out. <laughs> All right, peace. Hasta la vista. No, 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 no,